Hello, Samantha. Happy Sunday. Good to be here. Hope you're doing well, friendos. Welcome to the stream. I'm Arx underscore Hydro, and today we are playing more Elden Ring Randomizer. Give me just a second to tweet all the shit and post on Discords. Tell everyone that I'm going live, and I'll be right with you. In the meantime, let me know how your weekend is going, what games you've been playing. Uh, I hope everyone's having a fantastic time. All right, that's tweets taken care of. My own Discord, a friend's Discord, a friend's Discord, and done. And done. Did I post in all the right channels? Yes. I had already double-checked that after preparing the posts in their Discords. But I always like going and checking again. Did I post in the, the right channel? Did I post in the right channel on my own Discord? Who the fuck knows? What is up, Grizzle? What is up, Brad? What is up, Billy? Good to see all of you. Happy Sunday. Are you going live? I am indeed live. I'm live right now. Good to see you. I'm looking forward to today. We should be wrapping up the Weeping Peninsula. Um, I'm going to try and resist checking every last little nook and cranny, though it's very tempting, because I want to get to Liurnia. Last week, we beat the Fire Giant, who is standing where Margit should have been, and then we did more uh, Limgrave, <laughs> which isn't super exciting. But we've got a little more Limgrave to go, then we can leave it for Liurnia. And the part of Limgrave that we have left is a couple fields in the Weeping Peninsula, but most importantly, Castle Morn, which offers us another boss, and we get to see who the fuck is there. So I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited for it. I'm really excited for it. What is up, Catcher Kim? What is up? Is that an L or a capital I? I'm going to guess it's an L, but please, please forgive me if I'm way the fuck off. What's up, Luca Hiko? Good to see you. Hey, Mr. Lister Blister. Happy Sunday, friendo. Weekend is nice. Happy to catch the stream to wind down. I'm glad it's been nice, and it's good to have you here. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. It's me, YouTube Lister. Twitch Lister's good twin. Wait, Twitch got the bad Lister? This explains so much. And despite that, Samantha, any of you that aren't following Lister, if you don't have a Twitch account, it's worth making one. I know so many good people I can recommend on there, and Lister is one of them. Check him out, Mr. Lister Blister, no spaces, no underscores, over there. Catch him next time you can, next time you see him live. Uh, it's an L, you should change it. Got it, I should change it? Sorry, I misread that the first time. No, see, that's on me. That's my doubting my ability to read, because clearly sometimes it goes wrong. Don't worry about it. All lowercase looks good on you, it just took me a second. Just started Journey 4 yesterday. Journey 4? Do you mean like your fourth playthrough of Elden Ring? Or there's only one game called Journey, right? The game Journey, right? What are you talking about? YouTube has mid emotes. So here's the thing. I now have a partnered channel as of just a couple weeks ago, which means I could offer subscriptions here that unlock emotes, I believe. I'd have to double check that, but that's one of the things I'm quite sure YouTube told me was a benefit I could offer to offer to your viewers and tell them the benefits of supporting you and monetizing your channel and all that. But I haven't turned it on because I already have people subscribing on Twitch. And some of those people are also here on YouTube. And I don't want anyone to feel pressured to subscribe twice. I don't want anyone to feel pressured to subscribe once. Though I want to offer them the opportunity. So I turned on like super cheers and super thanks and some other stuff one time contribution type things but so far I haven't turned on the membership because I wasn't sure how much people cared about emotes or would be I don't know I'm still thinking about it still thinking about it obviously it's twitch logged in on my work account hello part two good to see you again DC Kim woohoo stream you got a giant furry ad under Hydra's stream you're very welcome I hope that They've targeted you accurately, and you find that ad useful. I hope it leads you to a service that you uh, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy would be the word that you enjoy. Don't follow Lister. He only lets me out of the basement once a week to donate to charity and answer calls for the Samaritans. When Hydro expects you to go sub to his Twitch, become a YouTube member, and pay for his OnlyFans, my God, that feeling when. What's up, Poob? How are you today, Hydro? I'm doing pretty well. A little bit tired because I didn't sleep as much no I slept a ton why am I tired I shouldn't be tired I think it's a state of mind I overslept my alarm this morning which isn't a worry it's Sunday and I'll work Sundays but I got enough sleep what have I done this weekend that would interest you guys what have I done I still have this bottle of wine beside me and I still don't have a wine opener so 
I'm just looking for things to say. Oh, I know what I did. Yesterday, I played a lot more Sons of the Forest. I put another three hours in. Let me tell you, I still think that game needs a lot of patches. It plays pretty darn well for me, but I just like, I want, I want like a log cart and simple shit like that. We did find more efficient ways to gather materials, but I don't know. The game's all weird. We, we, one of my friends attacked the first enemy who showed up during the period that's supposed to be quite long where they just stare at you from a distance and if you don't do anything, they don't do anything, I believe. So he sort of triggered them attacking us quite early, but they were pretty standard. A few of them would come, we would fight them off. A few of them would come, we'd fight them off. A few of them would come, maybe they would have one big guy, we would fight them off. You know, it stayed there. Well, yesterday, my friend and I still playing, the one who killed the first enemy and triggered all this shit, and by the way, killed Kelvin, the NPC helper. The guy who did that stuff isn't playing with us or didn't yesterday because he was busy. The two of us remaining were like, we want to do some fucking caves. So we just searched out caves. We were just ran across the entire island regardless of where it's trying to lead us and just did some caves. And most of them sucked. And then the last one suddenly was super interesting, gave us a brand new tool, and along the way introduced us to like, oh God, we ran by like four new kinds of enemies. Fought a couple of them, ran past all the others and stuff. Like, the game's really... If you play it on its terms, it's probably pretty good. But it's a bit frustrating at times to play it on its terms. And it's entirely possible to do what we're doing and fuck it up royally and just run past everything it wants you to do. And then, we're having more fun doing that. But, the game's not building towards anything bigger. Does that make any sense? We're not playing right, but I think right now we're having more fun not playing right than we would if we were playing correctly. So, you know, it's got some edges that need to be smoothed out. I went back to play more of it, so I clearly enjoyed it enough, but Sons of the Four, I'm surprised it's as big a deal as it is just because it is rough at the moment. Okay, what have I, what have, what have I missing here? A furry, join the chat during you speaking of the furry ad. Perfect, it's like I summoned them. If I speak more about furries, can I get more viewers? I'll, I'll talk about furries all night long. Let's do this. Fun fact, I think it's the first time you've ever posted in a YouTube chat. I'm so... I'm... I'm honored. How was the fancy corporate schmingle? It was a uh, mixed bag, but it was in a beautiful location. Uh, I got to take a hike and make lots of jokes about beavers building benches and things. You know, that kind of soft humor that goes over well with coworkers. That uh, was pretty fun. And uh, we had a trivia game. And my team won, so I got wine. Everyone on the team got a bottle of wine. I don't drink. So, as I was saying a second ago, I don't even have a corkscrew. I don't have a church key. I don't have a pigtail. That's not what they're called. Church key is, though, interestingly. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll buy one and try some wine. I'm not, like, specifically avoiding alcohol, but I just don't generally drink, so... <laughs> I just bothered to bring it home as a trophy. Anyway. Glad I saved it for Hydro. Is it still in early access? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. To be clear, they're not saying it's 1.0. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Sons of the Forest is in early access. Just finished a perfect timing video too. Fuck yeah. Wine. Is it a delicious red wine? It is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I think that's red. I don't know. I want delicious red wine now. I can buy the most delicious wines now. That's my favorite sketch from I Think You Should Leave, the Capitol Room, where it's like Shark Tank. It's like an intro to a Shark Tank style show where they're like, if you don't have it in the boardroom, I'll eat you alive. But if you're a shark, maybe we can do business together. But one of the three sharks introducing themselves is someone who just got a bunch of money from one lawsuit and doesn't know shit about business and they're just weird. That's my favorite I Think You Should Leave sketch. I'm not used to having money. I can buy the most delicious wine now. <laughs> Didn't you kill the feet that uh, replaced? Yes, I did. We have beaten Margit. We're still going to clear out the rest of Weeping Peninsula, but we're on to Liurnia after that today. All I see is a head floating in space. Where's the rest of him? <laughs> it's a very good point. It's been cut up by this cat and their shark mount vomiting a rainbow. Show the painting. I sh all right. All right. This is the last time. I've got a regular week of Twitch streams coming up. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're not looking at it again. I showed it on Friday on Twitch. I'm, I'll go get it and show it here now. 
Oh, it's right over here, actually. That's easy. We're not doing the watercolor every stream, though. All right, give me one second here. Studio mode, so that you don't see my webcam scene. Go to the webcam scene, filters for the webcam. There, okay, this is the, this is the sad truth of the world. It's all green behind me. Now I had to do that so you could see uh, the, the plants properly. There's my watercolor. I am quite unhappy with how it came out, but there are aspects that I'm pleased with, like the pillow or folded blanket over here on the chair, and the gradient, the way I deposited more pigment with the watercolor at the top of the leg here so it fades down. There are aspects that I'm pleased with. But our hike got back late, so I had to hurry to catch up. And parts of this... I need more time. I need more time. Anyway, there you are. There you are, friendos. Okay, back to talk and I can turn off studio mode, right? Perfect. It fell on the floor, but it's okay. It's protected. It's in a plastic sleeve, as you saw. It'll be fine. It's fine. <clears throat> anyway. It's a nice church via prize. Yes, it is. Wine makes a good gift. Church key is so Midwest, is it? Hello, what's up, Roma Keen? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friend. First time catching you live. Love your vids, lives, and shorts. Oh, thank you so much for saying that, Ricky. I hope you enjoy the stream, too. Good to have you here. You post an emoji, it stops the whole sentence. Really? Bench building beavers, bundling branches before bed. Beautiful. Don't you have to go through not Godric the Grafted first? Oh my god, you're right. We're not... Oh, the title's wrong. We're not in Liernia. I forgot about Stormvale fucking castle. You're right. Who's gonna be there? Shit. Okay, well, we'll see who's in Stormvale. Are you gonna hang it up? Unlikely. Awesome painting, you're, you're too kind. I know artists are hard on their own work, but seriously, I think you're all too kind. What do you mean it looks nice? I think it looks nice. I, 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 I'm just frustrated because I was there late. And so like, most people were doing the same picture. One of our team was like, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want. Most of us were doing a picture like that and just picking our own colors and giving it our own twists and things. So I just hopped in with that because I was late. But I had to catch up with the parts they'd already done in order for anything the instructor was saying to make sense. You know, I had to be at the part she was talking about. And so there are parts that I look at and I'm like, hey, I just, I just sort of smeared that on there. So I think I'm just frustrated with it. Hydra without space looks off. That's going right on the fridge. Great job, friendo. Uh, yeah, it's fridge worthy. I'll accept that it's fridge worthy. YouTube's literally got a pop-up going for me right now that says, hey, now would be a good time to insert ads because there are people here. No, now's the time that I want people to see. I want them to see me. I don't mind putting ads on once this is a video, you know, once the live is over, because then it pauses it for the duration of the ad. And I would like to make a little money off this whole thing. But, like, during it, they're gonna miss things, YouTube. Go fuck yourself. Anyway. Sorry, that's just, it's big blue pop-up on my screen, so. I wanted you to know why I suddenly went. <laughs> Time to auction off the painting and donate the proceedings to the Trevor Project. That's not a bad idea at all. Start with a cool million dollars. <laughs> hey, a million's what I said in Discord when someone asked how much I wanted for it. We're on the same page. It's great to know we lived up to social media standards. One day that art will be priceless. Got any games to guess? I do have games to guess. We'll do that in one second. Imagine Melania waiting for you, Melania the Grafted. I saw a clip the other day of someone who got Melania instead of Margit. It's... It could happen. <laughs> Elden Beast occupying Stormvale Castle. Yo, what's up, G Summer? Good to see you. Best rated monster I've seen is Radigan of Radigan. Run the ad, I don't mind. We're not running the ad. You guys may have watched a pre-roll ad, and if you didn't, I don't care. I'm happy you're here. You get enough ads on my other videos. Random question, do you take astro photos? Asking because space and space hoodie. I have a few times. I've sat out there and I've done, you know, bulb exposure and just held it and waited and adjusted and tried a few things. So I'm familiar with doing it with just a regular camera, but I've not done it a lot. I've never done it with specialized equipment or through a telescope. That stuff seems super cool, but I, I don't really. I, I think I know what you're talking about, but I don't really do it. Okay, let's get some games, Samantha. This is how I settle in every stream. I think this is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy 
And boom, the only rule we have is while we are trying to guess the games in these screenshots, please, if you 100% know it, don't shout it out immediately, give other people a chance to guess, but anything less than 100%, I wanna know what you think this is. We are so far, check this shit out, undefeated. 250 correct answers, none wrong. And we're trying to keep that streak alive. We've never even needed guess number six. So this looks like, um, something about that lighting is really familiar, but I don't think I know. What is this? Stuff looks a little yellow tinged. The light looks very PS2 era to me. What the hell is this? We've already had Max Payne 1, so it can't be some Max Payne game. Also, I don't think that's like this yellow tinged. A zombie game? Dead Rising? Stanley Parable Have a Garage? I don't think so. Thief Simulator? Thief Simulator? Left 4 Dead? I think Left 4 Dead would have a lot more like scrapes and trash and stuff on the ground. Hitman? Maybe one of the older ones. Let's try uh, Thief Simulator for the hell of it. Maybe we're right. It'll give us another image even if we're wrong. Okay, it's not Thief Simulator. Metacritic score, 81%. And this is looking a little more Hitman. There's a little white circle there. Is that how Hitman marks interactables? Was Nick right from the start? Looks like a quickly put together Steam game. It does a bit. That house fixing game. I don't think so. Do you mean house flipper? I don't think it's house flipper, but you know, honestly, I'm not confident. Maybe it could be. Definitely looks like the Hitman mark. Okay, let's try Hitman. Thing is, I don't remember which Hitman we already had. Well, I'm, I'm glad they think they're pretty. They're, they're a very pretty man. What a pretty man. You know what they are, because confidence. Confidence makes them attractive. Originally on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Um... It, it, the, the hands and the writing and stuff, it looks a little bit like Firewatch, but I played Firewatch, and I don't remember Firewatch having a journal like this in it. But I think that's the Firewatch font where it says journal. Is this Firewatch? I think PS4 and Xbox One would be the right era. So it's making me want to play this now. Firewatch was my guess after that image. Let's try Firewatch. Hey! Easy game. Got it in three. I was thinking Firewatch, but I didn't remember dudes like that in it. Neither do I. I do not know where in the game this is. Maybe it's something I didn't find? You think it's his wife's journal? Oh, I see, I see, I see. What's up, fanboy? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friend. What were the other images? Okay. All right. And then inside the tower, that, yeah, that helps a lot. But we didn't even need those many hints. We got it already. We got it all. It scrolls up from the bottom now. Wow, Samantha. I can't scroll all the way down so you can see, but this only goes to 295. We're not forever away from when we will finish this game. There's a new puzzle every day, but we do them faster than that. We're not that far away. Well, let's enjoy them while we can. Let's do a couple old days. And then we'll get to Elden Ring. Holy shit, this is really familiar. Wait, 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 what is this? Fuck. Crap. Oh god, I swear. I feel like I've seen this before. Sometimes this happens. It's a game I've definitely never played, but I feel like I've seen this. I don't know. I don't have a guess, though. Cloud Dragon? There's no game just called Cloud Dragon, is there? No. Yes, we all agree we can see a Cloud Dragon. It is a dragon, yes, but what game is the dragon from? It's not, it's not Cloud Dragon. Stop typing Cloud Dragon. <laughs> we need the name of a game. Love Fire, I don't remember that setting. Y'all must got the bad ending if you don't get didn't get to see that beauty. Is this a browser game or a Steam game guesser game? This is a browser game. 
That is the URL up top. It is simply guessthe.game. There's no .com, no .net. If you'd like to play yourself, this is just guessthe.game. There's a new puzzle every day. Dragon's Dogma, Dragon Cloud, Old Cloud Dragon, Dragon Cloud for sure, Cloud Dragon the Dragoning. I'm typing Dragon's Dogma because no one's taking this seriously. No one's taking this stream seriously. And it wasn't Dragon's Dogma. Metacritic score 82%. And this is qu quite an image. What is going on here? I don't know. No clue. That's crunchy. This is very crunchy. Sekiro is a cloud dragon, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think there's any part of Sekiro that looks like this, though. What the fuck? That's my favorite picture of the ground and a thing. That doesn't help at all. Dragon's Dogma has much more Western fantasy and less cloud dragon. Oh, the biggest hint ever. It's a, uh, it's a corner. Random guess, get a better pick. Okay, how many games have the word dragon in them? Dragon Age 2, Spire of the Dragon, Dragon Ball Fusions, Dragon Quest Monsters 2, Iru to Ruka no Fushigi na Fushigi Nakagi. It's not that surprisingly. It's not. Let me scroll down for a second here. Oh, I can't. The name is too long to even show in there. You've already guessed these things list below what you can see here. Is that a mailbox? Uh oh, in the previous image? Maybe. God only knows. You know this? I don't. We have a world map, or at least a region map. It's split up into zones. We have symbols and markets. This is like a fantasy 4X of some kind. Something about this has an indie feel to me, but maybe it's just old. It didn't release on consoles, at least not originally. What the fuck is this? I, I, I'm gonna say I'm pretty sure I haven't played it. Crusader Kings? I'll try Crusader Kings. Crusader Kings 1. No, but paradoxy, probably Crusader Kings is looking very right right now. Oh, look at this coloration, dude. You have a salmon region with green gray ticks over it and a border of blue and yellow. This is just fucking wild, man. Wild. Chivalry 2, Crusader Kings 2, Elden Ring when? Very shortly. I'm gonna say five minutes. Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Okay, let's try two then. Crusader Kings 2. Well done, team. Well done! It would have taken me until here to know we were guessing a Paradox-like game. Tiny chance here, but I wasn't there yet, so I think probably here, if I was on my own. And I'm not sure I would have started with Crusader Kings because I don't remember most of their names. I would have been like, it's not that one with steel in it because that's World War I or something. Is it Europa Universalis? I don't know. I don't know their games super well. So I would have basically had three guesses to maybe remember Crusader Kings. It's like 50-50 I would have gotten that on my own. Let's do one more. Good job, everybody. Let's do one more. Oh, this... I have a guess. I have a guess. How confident am I in my guess? Why do these look like tire tracks? Because they're rounded here. I'm looking too closely. How confident am I in my guess? 40%? Not sure. Not sure. How on earth do the dragon and weird corner fit into this? The, maybe the dragon's like on the title screen or something. The weird corner, I don't know. Too many games that look that way, damn. Wow, well. Did you guess that right? Does Crusader Kings have a cloud dragon, apparently? Didn't even ask what you thought of the Elden Ring DLC announcement. I'm excited, I'm absolutely excited. All they gave us was a picture and a name, so... I think we're gonna be waiting a while. So I'm trying to keep my hype in check, but I'm very much looking forward to having more Elden Ring to play. Solar panel, clearly fixing a solar panel in my backyard. What's the name of the game where you pick fix a solar panel in your backyard, Folsom? They made it in your backyard, you gotta remember, right? What's the name of that game? Reminds me of a certain side scroller, solar panel the paneling, solar panel simulator, HVAC simulator, is this cooking mama? I don't guess myself, just here in the stream and guessing. Deliver us the moon? 
Could be deliver us the moon. I think it is the Turing test. But I'm only like 40% confident. I'm wrong. We could try deliver us the moon. Is there a garage in deliver us the moon? Electrician 2, house rewiring. Maybe like a Half-Life game? White and technology, portal? I think we had this one when you were in Maine. Did we? I can believe that, I could easily forget it. Is this House Flipper? No, scratch that. What if they announce the Elden Ring DLC in the form of six still images where you have to guess the lore? I would love that, and I will get the lore wrong, but I would enjoy myself. I would have a good time. Um. 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 I feel like this reminds me of something. But it's too far away from me, I'm not sure. Bro, they can't take pics in my apartment like that. I'm so confused. Uh, let's try House Flipper, because I don't know what to say. House Flipper. It's not House Flipper. Wait. Originally released on PC, PS3, PS4, 360, Xbox One, and Wii U. What game came out on all of those platforms? Around its launch window. They don't, this list means launch window. This list doesn't mean that much later it was ported or something. Raj says GTA to me. Damn flipper. <laughs> yeah, we bought the Hoover Dam from the United States government and like it's got a lot of space. We think it's got a lot of possibilities, but we just need to do something with it. Damn simulator. Damn flipper. Or some car game. I really don't know. I really don't know. Sonic 06, Goat Simulator, Zombie Game? I really don't know. But which zombie game, right? We need a zombie game. Wait! Uh, shit. Uh, uh, wait. Did Watch Dogs come out on all those? Watch Dogs? Did... Did Watch Dogs come out on the Wii U? It was hideous. It did? Is this Watch Dogs? One? Two words. Wow. Okay, Watch Dogs. Well, we got it. Go team. Error facial recognition failed. Okay, there's some more hints in this image. In the last image, I actually kind of recognize this character. I never played Watch Dogs. I heard it was fine. But I kind of recognize this character. There are what, like three Watch Dogs games, right? You play as this character in the first two and then the third you get to make your own or something. Or the third's about having tons of characters. I don't know how it works, but I kind of recognize the back of this guy's head with his shaggy hair, his trucker's cap. I kind of recognize him. That van was iconic. I'd say Goat Simulator was close to Watch Dogs, both mammals, both open world. <laughs> Let's take a look at our record. 253 up, 253 down. We still have not needed six guesses ever. Well done, Samantha. Well fucking done. Well done. You finished the first game three times? God damn. Well, I hope it's because you enjoyed it. G fucking G times three. God damn. Two more, we're going on to Elden Ring now. And good God that I hope that it works, because I don't play with mods a lot, and I didn't test before today, but like nothing changed. It should work. It should. Let me stop the PS1 music. Let me switch over to this scene, and let's get Elden Ring randomizer started. It's loading. Soon it should even capture over here. Any day now. Any day now. Show me the Bandai Namco logo over there. What are you doing? Oh, thank God. There we go. All right. Good shit. Okay. We are, we are. I know the title says Castle Morn and Liernia, but someone reminded me I forgot about Stormvale. So today is 
Castle Morn and Weeping Peninsula stuff, and then Stormvale. But I think that's equally exciting. There's still something horrible waiting for us in there, probably. I miss the old Hydro, the sideways Hydro. It should work. Everything breaks. I worry about that every weekend. Bandai Namco was almost a Bandai no-go. Didn't even realize those were dogs with space helmets until now. They're bunnies. Those are little Baxters. Baxter bunnies. All right. Is this what I left myself wearing? Really? You look, uh, you look interesting. You look very interesting, the molding sky. Okay. Anyway. Dropping frames. Are there any, like, just little things I could do to turn the graphics down? I think it's running a bit rough because, um, loading a lot more enemies than usual. Advanced settings. Texture, anti-aliasing. Is there, like, a medium? No? Okay. Motion blur off, shadow quality. But I like shadows and things. Volumetric medium. Reflection low. Water surface. Shader. I don't want to turn any off. Does that look better yet? It looks like it bought me about 5 FPS. Let's just play. Let's just play. I miss Had Deli. No channel points over here. Um... We're gonna start with Castleborn. The area we have to explore here is down in this area, up atop this area, and all over here. But first, let's go do Castleborn because that's always fun. Godric could be soldier of Godric, it's possible. Anything's possible. He thought he was going to Liernia, so he dressed the part, exactly. Oh, I remember the other thing I was going to check. Did I upgrade this thing? I did. Good shit. We have a plus two. Alabaster Longsword. If I remember right, there's one of those bell ringing, like... Are they Albinorics? One of those bell ringing enemies. Instead of the giant archer waiting in front of the uh, castle here, so... I'm going to run right at their face. I doubt their ability to stop me coming in. In fact, they're not here. <laughs> if you kill the giant, this is pomegranates, I want an answer. In the normal game, if you kill the giant that's standing here, do they not respawn? I'm wondering if maybe, even though they randomized the enemy, it's still tagged as a non-respawning enemy or something. My fave streamer, you're much too kind. Keep up the good work, I love the content, thank you so much, Brownie. I appreciate you saying that, I'm glad you enjoy. I'll do my best. Does not? Okay, so I guess even randomized enemies keep the does respawn, doesn't respawn tag or whatever, however they do it behind the scenes. They do. Oh. Well, no, I have no idea what's going on then. Yeah, we just caught him on vacation. They're a bit shorthanded right now and couldn't afford someone to cover for him, but you still got to give him vacation, you know? What's going on in here? Okay. I forget why this room is here. Anyway. The fuck just happened to the light? What the f- Okay. I mean, I'll do my best to save the world, but look at this. Something is going on meteorologically that is beyond me. So this whole place might be fucked. Some of the golems do, some don't. This one does not. High quality shadow right there. Is this anything below it? That looks like a no. Looks very much like a no. Oh, before I forget to mention it at all, let me tell you the streaming schedule for this coming week. I expect to have a normal streaming schedule, which means I'll be on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And back here a week from today for another Elden Ring Randomizer, Sunday at 6 on this channel. Um, on Twitch this week, I expect to be playing a mixture of Woe Long Fallen Dynasty. I'll probably be playing that tomorrow and Tuesday. I'm really enjoying. Uh, but also, 
some Metroid Prime, and some Darkest Dungeon. Now let's focus on this. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's good to have you here. I hope you're enjoying yourself, friendo. Sorry, real quick. I want to make myself a little smaller. And I want to make the Streamlabs alerts a little smaller. Okay, that's good. I'm obsessing on details today. Probably it's flags to not rain inside, and the game checks if it's raining right when you are to decide on the lighting. Casually swinging the planets around. He, he just lightens off. You see that? Meanwhile, oceans across the world are flipping out. Sawbot warned not to spoil things. Yes, that is my safe word. If you hear me say that, I do want an answer. Though, as simple an answer as you can give. No extra details. Otherwise, I'm sorry, I may ask things aloud, but I don't actually want answers. Okay, we've got one of those... Cage Knight guys, got one of those exploding guys, we got a hand, we got a bell ringer up there. That's not a revenant, is it? No, they don't have cloaks like that. We got a giant ant. This place kind of sucks. Let's go around this way. See if I can not get every single enemy here on me at once. I kind of want you to die first. And I achieved that. Don't do that. You don't do do me. You don't. Alright? I'm the one who do doots. Go watch my highlights videos. Everybody go watch my highlights videos from the first playthrough. <laughs> I'm the one who doots. Everything's good? Cool. Random question new to your stream. What made you decide on the Alabaster Sword? This is a randomizer run. So both enemies, bosses, and um, items. You could say both when you have three things, right? Are they all randomized within a certain reasons and logic? So, I chose the Alabaster Sword because it was the first nice weapon the game gave me. The first one that looked interesting. And that matched the stats I was going for. I also decided the stats based on what I was finding, but I, I shied away from doing straight up faith and strength, simply because that's what I did the first time. It seems like we're going int strength. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Did you like 10 of them earlier today? Thank you so much. I hope it's because you enjoyed them. Thank you for that. Both is for two, all is for three or more. Well, then they're all randomized. I just realized that dude on a knight isn't a statue. That's an enemy. Who is that? I swear to God, they just, they look so out of place because they're like so clean. I thought that dude on a horse was just a statue. That looks like a mini boss or something. This fight's gonna suck. I'd love to join you, but you play Xbox and I play PlayStation. I play PC. I forget if there's anything on this hill that's like worth getting. Don't really know. Okay, let's backstab you and let's start trying to fight some people. Carefully, carefully. I can summon, right? I can, but let's not summon yet. Dead. Only the ant seems to care. I love that. If the ant could come down here, please. If the ant that attacks could come down to the front, please, I would appreciate that. Easy. You care, but you're very slow. Very slow. Statue atop pile of enemies. I thought maybe it was on a pedestal and the bodies were just like lumped around it. It's a dude on a horse. Look out. What are the Altus Horse Knights? Just watched my Alien Isolation VODs. At times, I was up and screaming at the computer. Perfect entertainment. I'm glad people enjoyed those. I'm planning on putting more up. I've got a number, and I'll start putting up, you know, ones that are on Twitch as I do them. In fact, this week, I'm either going to be putting up the Woe... Uh, maybe I'll do both. I'll put up my first Woe Long stream and put up... I forgot about the hand. The other thing I was planning on which is my Outer Wilds playthrough. Fucking hell, dude. A moment of silence for me to finish my combo. Not those. I hate those things. Oh shit, right, 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 you're a caster. I don't like you. Couldn't fucking dodge in time. Good shit. Good shit. Bad shit. 
We're back on it. We're back on it. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Oh, that was so much easier than I was worrying about. Albinoric shield. Uh... Can I wield this one-handed? I forget how to switch hands, but I doubt I can wield this one-handed. Anyway, Albinoric shield. I think the chest that normally has the claymore is up there, up atop this. Eleonora? Golden eyes, he's worth extra runes, I think. Oh yeah, I never figured out what that was about. Are they tougher too, or are they simply worth extra runes? And is that random? Or is it always the same enemy that has glowing eyes? Uh, sorry, that's pomegranates. Because I've already beaten the game once, and that's not like... That's fine. Pomegranates. Are enemies with glowing eyes any tougher? And do they give you extra runes? Is that really what it's for? I just murdered a horse. I did what I had to for the battle. I'm not proud of it. But yes, I did. Materials. What materials? Sanctuary stone. Okay. Sure. Onward we go. I can jump up there, but I forget where that goes. There's a wolf over there. Let's take a quick look at what enemies have spawned over on this side. I would love to surprise this wolf if possible, rather than have to chase him down. Perfect. Perfect. Who's spawned over here? There are enemies back here, right? They're not. Ash of War Blood Blade. Cool. Seems fun. You think it's random and they're not tougher. Glowing eyes mean they're insane. Don't think they're tougher, just richer. Extra runes. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Five times runes. God damn. Okay, cool. Well, hello there. Can I backstab you? I think I can kill you either way without a problem, but it would be nice. If you don't mind, I just, I've always dreamed of a backstab. Would you mind getting a photo and then I'd like a backstab, please? Can I get your autograph and then I'd like to backstab you if you don't mind? Okay, this goes up top. Where's the other place go? Where do I get to if I go up there? Come on now. Stop getting caught on every little thing. What I'm trying really hard to remember right now is if this is one of those areas where there are enemies that like hang from the edges and jump down on your head if you don't notice them. Because in a randomizer, I don't know what happens to those enemies. I don't know where they spawn. On the ground? Glitching up on the wall? What? Hello? Is there anyone here? Yay! All right. Basilisk? What's the other thing? What is the other thing? That looks big. What is that? Ooh. <laughs> Unpleasant place to find you. Okay. Uh, anyone hear that? No, we're cool? All right. Castle looks like a great place for a noble to settle down in. One of the best weapons in the game is a faith sword, the Blasphemous Blade. Planning on going for the boss fight here? I am. Depends a little bit on who we find. Faith is cringe? Go fuck yourself. How dare you say that about Hot Deli? I love faith. Okay. Wait, wait, this might be really good. Are you immune to that? Why aren't you dead? Okay. How about the two of you have some fucking gravity? Now 
<laughs> That's a decent fight! Oh, I love this sword. Let's see why the sorcerers do it now. Let's see why they gain int. It's starting to make sense. Death blight proof dog. Hey, what breed is that? I'm looking to get a, a hypoallergenic death proof do, d uh, death 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 root death blight proof dog. Because my girlfriend is both allergic and she gives off death blight. Do you have any hyperallergen? <laughs> Don't try to say it again. You'll be stuck here for an hour. Dude, I love how it preserves the two fighting factions, even if it's a randomized everybody here. This would be what, the misbegotten and the soldiers usually? I gotta move. Because I'm not a death blight proof dog. I expected you to die to the dog, forgot you already finished it once. Gold tinged excrements, we got some shit for that. You don't belong here. That's gonna be fun. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Soft cotton. Okay, do I wanna go that way first? Or this way first? Is this the way that leads to the, um, the, uh, w what's his name? Warden? Is that like a wall somewhere? I forget where. You doing a randomizer? Yes, I am. Enemies, boss, and item randomizer. Is there anything up here? There's just, what, a jump down to another wall, is there? Yeah, there is. <sighs> Hi there. T-Rexy bird, good to see you. Okay, we'll do that later. Let's go after the big guy first and hope I don't die doing it. I think you can abuse the weapon art on your sword in situations where you're just above an enemy. Little Aggie used it in a random run. Scary path. Scary path. Um, I have four, so let's top off, because I don't know how much damage this enemy does. I don't want to be shocked and get one shot because I wasn't at full health. Oh, there's a little one, too. We should kill the little one first. Now we should back the fuck up and hopefully fight this thing in a more open area. Whenever you're ready. I just realized you can't do the charge because you don't have pizza cutters. You do the throw. I remember now. And it comes back. Twice? It comes back twice? Okay, I didn't remember everything. Could we just tell everyone this is my first time playing and I'm doing it as a randomizer for some reason? You all, you've all been here already. You get to know that I'm fucking up this badly for my second try, but can we tell everyone new this is my first play? I'm used to having lightning to throw at those guys, not have to get right up to them. God damn. Surprise abductor virgin, fun. How do you know that robot hasn't had sex? Are the drops random even after the enemy? Is it random or is it close? Okay, I think enemies are dropping the correct items. I'm not certain. I don't know the game well enough to have marked yet, but it seems like things are dropping the right item. No, we talked about this last week and I actually don't remember what other people's answer was. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sold, I like the experience so far. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. The randomizer has breathed in more life than I had guessed it would. I thought it would be fun, but I didn't realize it would make it feel as new as it does. Feels like a brand new experience to me in many ways. All right, I want to backstab this guy and then I want to run past everybody if I can. Okay, didn't get the backstab. This is going great. I love everything that's happening right now. Did you know I can't outrun a horse? Cause that's surprising me. I can fit through doors, it can't though. Oh, right, I got a group of uh, motherfuckers out here, don't I? I guess we'll kill them the same way. 
soon as that dissipates. I guess we'll kill them the same way as before. That not hit the dog or did not do enough? Alright, we're good. One well-timed dodge is all it took. We're good. Wolf drop bones, that makes sense. Do you have the bias on settings for the randomizer? I think per people's request, we talked about it for a while, and the bias is on, but very low. It's like 20% bias. That robe's very late game, the drops are random. Yes. There's the possibility of things being in entirely the wrong part of the game, but there is a slightly higher chance they'll be in the appropriate region or a nearby region than completely on the other side of the world. We have the teensiest bit of bias. I kind of hate this ant. At least it's not spitting its red goo at me, though. That would be way worse. Are you even defending anything? Is there even a reason to kill you, you motherfucker? Deathblight proof dog with Deathblight frog. More of these I watch, the more desperate I am to try a randomized, but God, installing the mod on a Steam Deck is a bad time. Oh, is it? I'm sorry. I was surprised how relatively easy it felt to install this, compared to every modding experience I've had, which isn't many, but everyone I've had other than, say, like, Skyrim and Oblivion, games where it can automatically install for you. Um, I was surprised how easy it was, but I can imagine it's not as easy on a Steam Deck. You remember an enemy that wasn't a turtle dropping turtle neck meat, so it's random? Makes for a fun experience. I like that setting, too. I'd hope the Sacred Tears and Golden Seeds are in the same place. No, they are not. However, there are two classes of items. There are important items, and there are, ran like, regular items. And important items are only randomized with other important items. So, like... Radon's Great Rune probably won't be on Radon. But... It will be on another boss or on one of the, like, the minor air trees. It won't be in, a, like, a random middle of fucking nowhere. You know what I mean? Important things are going to be in important places. I rolled early because I suck. Oh, God. No, this will kill me. There were... Two ticks too many. There were two ticks too many. Are you even guarding a... You are guarding something. Looks like a shit quality item, but maybe we get that and we go away. What's the death count? I have no idea. If anyone at any point would like to go back and make a count, I will try and put a command on Nightbot so you can keep track going forward. But right now, I have no idea. Good to catch your stream again. Good to have you here again, friendo. Happy Sunday. How long have you been streaming today, and how long will you keep streaming this playthrough? This playthrough. I've been live today for just under an hour. I'll probably go for another two to four hours. Most likely in the middle, around three more hours. I don't know. We'll see how I feel and where I'm at in the game. And this playthrough, I plan to go until I win or get way too frustrated, but so far I'm, I'm getting through it all right, so... I don't know, it could be weeks and weeks before I finish this. First time catching the stream, good to have you. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Hope you're having a good weekend. Iron Virgin Maidens are softer on the inside, why didn't you attack? I had already started an attack I couldn't cancel, and it was too slow to beat out their attack. So I'd fucked myself over by throwing a random, very slow attack in hopes it would deal more damage to them. I was trying my gravity thing to see if it dealt more damage through their armor. Jesus Christ, he already went around to beat me to the chase. He failed, but... That made him look really smart for a second. Alright, kill your thing, kill the thing, kill the thing, kill the thing. And then stand together so I can kill y'all. Let's try a heavy swing. And then into... My special. Ooh, that was almost a very bad idea. 
Though, as you can tell from the damage that massive enemy dealt to me, enemies and bosses are scaled to be appropriate for where they are. That is not as strong as that should be. Imagine it's the abductor from Raya and you randomly wake up in Volcano Manor after getting grabbed. Okay, let's go get involved in this fight and let's be smart about it rather than fight every last person. Let's just kill them all with gravity. Don't do this. Don't do this. Then the little fucking gargoyle comes in and does it. Bastard. All right, fighting this thing's not going well, but I think I can get the item. I think I know how. You meant this episode. Okay, probably three-ish hours, but we'll see how I feel. This is the same profile you're making YouTube videos with? So I have two YouTube channels because when I made this channel originally just to put shorts on, I disliked the way going to a channel's page of videos showed shorts and normal videos together. I hated it. So I made a separate channel. And then this one got more popular than my original, which is why it's the one I'm streaming on. Because I want more people to know I'm streaming and to come catch it and have more people here. Anyway, now I have a video for my highlights, which is just called RX Hydro. If you're not following, I recommend it. I'm doing highlights videos from my first playthrough of the game and... <sighs> I'm pretty pleased with how they're coming out. And I have this channel where I'm doing shorts and complete streams. So I have one, I have like RX Hydro shorts longs here and RX Hydro mediums on the other channel. Sorry. That's the way it turned out. Gotta try a run with Loretta's scythe. What's up, Tino? Good to see you, friend. If you go down to the castle today, you're in for a big surprise. With giant ants and dual bladed maidens, you'll lose your mind like Jesse Faden. Jesse Faden didn't lose her mind. Jesse Faden got into her right mind. I was so with you until you impugned Jesse Faden. Samantha, all of you should play Control. Still a good song, though. The highlights are good. Thank you for saying that. How long ago was your first playthrough? August last year? S summer last year. I think that's right. I don't actually remember well. Ah, sweet. Five strings. Descend. Where does this go? Oh, this is the other area. Okay. So the paths have joined. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hello there. Don't cast anything. Thank you. I don't love the look of this. <laughs> I hate that. Are you coming this way? You really are, aren't you? That did fuck all to you! How do I hurt this? Oh, like this? Like this? Where's the fucking special moment? We were supposed to have a special moment! Timing! I did get hit there. Was it by them? Shit, there's a wolf too. I wanna heal. Well, that was incredibly awkward, but successful. Glaive and fire prelate armor. Am I strong enough for fire prelate armor? Black iron armor adorned with red cloth, attire of the fire prelates, commanders of the fire monks. The weighty frames of the prelates symbolize the onus of their grave vows as guardians of the flame. Etch this sight upon thy breast of my thunderous gravity. It'll put us into heavy load. Which I cannot accept, unfortunately. Crap. Damn. Fuck. Best weapon in game, in your opinion? Uh, Cypherpata. I made a whole infomercial about it. Is the DLC going to be before the shattering? I have no idea. I'll say yes. What is that weapon? This is the Alabaster Lord's Sword. Giant burp. Can't wait for Deathblight Swamp. Nobody words rhyme with maiden. 
Could take it a dig at Raiden, never mind. You had two choices of character. And you chose wrong. Oh no, bird. My most hated enemy ever. Cool drip, why thank you. Wish I could wear it. Normal ladder. It's over here. Is this also a jump down? Yes it is, to a site of grace. I like sites of grace. But also... Where can I get to from there? Oh, hello. Beating someone up over there. This goes over to that wall. What all is down here before I take that jump to the side of grace? Because that's a one-way jump, I'm pretty sure. What all is on this wall? To fight and to earn. Hello. <laughs> you need better reaction times than that. Come on, guy. I'll take a golden rune five. Not a bad prize. The thickest armor, dang. Put it on for just a sec. And I roll the way you'd expect me to. <laughs> Shaking the whole screen. Heavy armor, very heavy armor. Unpopular opinion, magic builds are above all. I mean, I spent a lot of time spamming incantations as a faith build. I love spells, spells are great. I started Wolong on Friday when it came out. Uh, not ahead of time, I know a lot of people played ahead of time. I didn't have the chance. But I started Wolong on Friday and I did like three and a bit levels. And uh, I'm really loving that game, but I spent all that time working on like a melee build thus far. Because I'd been playing a lot of casters in Elden Ring the last couple Souls-like games I played. And at the end of stream on Friday, I took a look for the f <laughs> Can y'all see who that is? I wonder if the special weapon will be down there waiting for me. I doubt it. It's probably in like fucking Altus Plateau somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's Rikard. <laughs> phase two Rikard. Well, I guess that is Rikard, because phase one it's big serpent ball. Oh Christ. Where do I go from here? Do I just keep jumping down? Yes. I believe the rando gifts you the Serpent Hunter. Rip in peace. Poor fire snake surrounded by an ocean. Battle area is tiny. That's going to be something else. Where is phase one? I don't think it'll be here. It may be elsewhere in the game, but it's not going to be here. Uh, what was I working on? I was going to get 20 vigor, and that's actually all I can buy right now. 20 vigor it is. Okay. You get it guaranteed. Second phase also. Can I hit him from here? Uh, no. No, I probably can't. I don't believe I have the arm strength to chuck a, 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 like a grenade that far. And number two, I actually do have magic glint blade down, down there, but I don't have a staff to cast it yet. And I'm pretty sure it wouldn't reach. So we can just look and, free and fret for the moment. That's all. All we can do is look and fret. I still haven't met the guy. I think I'm headed down to the beach without having met the guy. Uh, oh, I know what that is. Didn't that used to just be like a little slime hanging out in the alleyway? That's a real shame for me. Real shame. Could you use a bow? Not from here. There's a, like a, just a hard limit on how far things can reach, I'm pretty sure. And I'm well beyond it. Classroom has invisible walls to block any attacks from outside. Where are you at? I'm at Castle Morn at the very southern tip of uh, Lyernia. Southern tip of the... Uh, Limgrave. Southern tip of the Weeping Peninsula at the southern edge of Limgrave. Who's here? Okay. I don't think there's anyone behind me. And there wasn't. 
Nice. Nox Monkhood. Beautiful. It protects the hair. Looked familiar. Who was there instead of Margit? There was the fire giant. <gasps> Please help me. I'm of noble blood. If these hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Shut up. Old Fang. A wat. There's a wat out here. All right, there's probably an item back there, but like how? <laughs> there's problems in both directions, okay? All right. Uh, Jesus, dude. This sucks. That knight's gonna see me. All right, good, 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 good. Let's fight that knight first. Hopefully I don't attract the attention of the, uh, what are those called, clean rot knights? Hopefully I don't get that thing's attention. But do all big bosses spawn in small arenas? No idea. I wasn't ready to dodge again in time, really? Damn it. You're not gonna let me behind you at any point, are you? Not too bad at all. I thought the waving branches there were another enemy, like a massive one down on the little ledge of land. <laughs> Scared me a second. All right, let's go get a backstab on the clean rod knight then. It's a bad combo since this hitbox can push you out of the edge, the Margaret arena, bad luck. It actually, I never fell over the edge. It took me like five or six tries to beat him, but I never fell over the edge at any point. Ooh, your health has been well scaled down. Good shit. Right, you could do that. Not bad at all. Nothing like what I was worried about. Good stuff. Good stuff. Use your John Mayer powers. Yes. Have you found the tutorial boss soldier yet? I've not. Love the clean rot knight design. Instead of the tutorial knight soldier, I had um, this like assassin shade thing. I forget what it's called. Did okay on them. Deathroot. Ooh, we're ready to meet Gronk. Did you know there was a teleporting clean rot knight? Hello, hello. What's up, Wind Queer? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friendo. There's another. Um, there's another, he's just, he's watching me come down there. Soon we will be together. There's another side of grace down here further, right? I'd like another spot to save before getting really into this shit. I'm hearing a, uh, scarab, am I? But I'm not seeing a scarab. Saw the title, thought you were just doing random shite in the game, not a mod. No, I'm doing a randomizer. Enemies, bosses, and items have all been shuffled. Though there is some logic, like big bosses are only, I, I say big, important story bosses are only mixed with other important story bosses. Important items are only mixed with other important items, but even then, my example I used earlier, Radon's Great Rune could be at a minor aired tree instead of even on another boss. So it's pretty unpredictable. We get to test if remembrances are randomized. Record sounds like that one dude speaking with loose wet boogies in the back of his throat. It's just like clear your throat, man. We all have to listen to this. What are you doing?
Okay, I want to land on that. Is there anything else up here before I go that way? There is not. I want to land on that. Yep. Yuck, yuck, yuck. What you got for me? A gold scarab. I don't remember what a gold scarab is. Is that a talisman? I've got a lot of talismans. Greatly raises focus. Raises attack power of arrows and bolts. Increases runes obtained from defeated enemies. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression and will be lost on death in place of runes. So... What is focus? What is focus? Where is focus? Status. Your resistance to sleep and bouts of madness. Okay, cool. Then I think for the moment we just want to have the golden scarab. Not a bad pickup. Not bad. It's magic blue bar. Focuses madness resistance. I think it's a, uh, again, sleep status effect. You were both right. Sleep and madness. And I believe, I believe your uh, blue bar is called focus points, but I think that's determined by mind, not your focus stat. But it's definitely FP, and I think FP is focus points. We have a Scarlet Rod Exploding Zombie. We have one of the uh, laser plants, I think that is. And we have, um, what's flickering down there? Whatever, let's just go. Oh, it's poison one. Poison plant, my bad. Oh, that's what's flickering, a lightning enemy. Okay, we're making it through this. Okay, so far. Shit, it's going a bit funny now. Better? If I could just hit you so I could move on to the other one, that would be great. A little awkward. Not too bad. Gold Scarab is great for bosses. I was just thinking I just got this in time. I wonder how they do the runes for bosses. I bet this guy's gonna just give the same runes as the Leon and Misbegotten would have given, right? That's probably the easiest way to do it. Just give them the runes of the boss that should have been there. Yeah, there's another grace, perfect. What is focus? Something a lot of people lack. Hey, I'm one of them. Though I did just make a, uh, Doctor's appointment for this Thursday, so maybe I'll have Adderall again and videos will be a little bit less touch and go and take me 40 hours a fucking week. What is that enemy? Oh, I know what that is. Those guys have no poise. I don't think, he, is he alone? He's not alone, but shouldn't be hard. You've got a lot of health for a dog enemy. A lot of health for a dog enemy. Checking for anything really weird on the beach. Doesn't look bad. Looks okay. This is your hourly reminder to talk about furries to get more views. Hey, you know what I didn't understand for a long time? Furries. But I've met so many now and they've all been such great people. I love having them around my stream. And let me tell you this, they pay their artists for their commissions. Furries appreciate artisanal work. What great people. Haha, <laughs> furries. Out of all runes, Godric and Radon runes are the best. What do those ones do? <laughs> he is le He did! He turned! He is looking at me! I hate this. I can see every one of those little red arms so clearly out here in the light. I've said it before, I'll say it again, Rykard was my favorite boss from my first playthrough. I loved him. And part of the reason was... Damn it. I loved his arena. What I didn't know was not only is his arena so aesthetic, it's also nice and low lit, so I don't have to see him that clearly. Godric raises all attributes? Yes, okay, that's the one I use most of the game. Mainly because it was didn't take much thought, but yeah, I like that one. Use that most of the game. 
think my Melina's rune is decent as well. Get Blythe's helmet for farming uh, apple. Most handsome shard bearer. When does this thing wake up? When are you going to wake up? Don't those shots come back down at some point? I guess not. Okay, what's around this side? Scabby rat, ugly guy. Come away from the edge a little bit so I can backstab you without diving into the water, please. Found your channel through shorts. Thanks for the great content. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad you enjoy the shorts. I appreciate you saying that. I think they all hit the wall. They all hit the thing above it. Aren't you dead? Let's go check the other side. Gotta yeah, decide what to do about Rykard. I know one thing to do about Rykard. Throw him off by showing him my beautiful hair. Can you see my hair through the malformed dragon helmet? You cannot. We'll have to put back on the little juvenile scholar cap, so... You can appreciate this hair. You want the enemy eagles? No. And there's something hidden back here, right? Hoslo's pedal whip. Is that a weapon? It is. It's, of course, a dex weapon. It causes blood loss. Metal whip formed of razor-sharp chain-link blades that have the appearance of flower petals. This work of art is handed down through the generations of the illustrious House Hoslow. House Hoslow is... Dialos? High dexterity is required to wield this weapon, but it excels at inflicting devastating blood loss. The tale of House Hoslow is told in blood. Skill, kick. Okay. Sounds neat. Probably not for me, but neat. Good weapon. Metal whip is, pedal whip is really nice. Oslo is Dialis. The IV Valentine Blade, exactly. All right, let's go see. <laughs> Stop trying to look at your presence ahead of time. I'll be in in just a second. Let's go see how this is. Tell you great camera angles for this, right? Are you going down for a sec? What's happening? What are you doing? I literally can't move. Good timing. Bad timing. What, what am I supposed to do about that? I was holding forward. I rolled forward once. Something tells me that living in New York, you said, What's over here? A scabby rat, ugly guy, a few times before this stream. Did I seem comfortable with those phrases? Uh, okay. Well, that fucking sucked. Let's two-hand the weapon this time. See if that makes any sort of difference. Can I jump down there or will I take damage? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try again. Ooh, I could have gone left. There's more here than I thought. Okay. Can 
Can't see shit. I think there's an attack coming. Where am I? Good stuff. Is there a visceral attack to be had here? No, right? Okay, where am I? Oh shit, right, the skulls. The fucking motherfucking skulls. I can't tell what's happening. You just gotta die, man. You just have to die, do you understand? Dude, there's people watching, okay? You just gotta die. Come on, Leon and Rikard. Come on, Leon and Rikard! In two. I can, I'm very sorry about the viewing experience, but done in two. I got a sacred tear for that work. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a stupid fight. That was a really dumb fight. Weapon that serves as both greatsword and spear. Get you a weapon what can do both. Serpent Hunter Weapon Art pushes Rikard back. Oh shit, I wish I'd known about that. Is seeing your shorts a lot late? Can't figure out if you're new or not to Elden Ring? The shorts are all from my first playthrough of Elden Ring. This is only my second, but we're playing this time with a randomizer, so... Um, and my memory is shit. So between the two, I'm getting surprised a lot. It's fantastic. So far, this randomizer loves making you unable to see the boss. You have to feel your way through them. You got the Serpent Hunter Spear, it's really good. That should be your new weapon. I guarantee you won't find a better weapon. Uh, the problem is it's strength decks. We're probably gonna get some strength, but we're way more likely to do more damage using the Alabaster Lord Sword. Because that's strength faith, uh, strength int, and we're getting it. Second try, nice. The camera was the real boss. Certainly evidence for what arena design does. Uh, thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past, it manifests a long blade of light when facing such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed, his men uh, search for a weapon with which they might halt their lord. Good shit. Good shit. You can dual wield the serpent hunter with another great spear and both shoot wind at Rykard. Increase the amount replenished. Thank you. I really need more charges, but I don't get to decide when I find that stuff. Okay, one level. What am I putting it in? I need more int at some point so that I can use some of the higher level spells. I guess we'll keep getting in. I don't know what else to buy at the moment, so we'll buy in. What I really need is a staff so I can use that int on something. Is there anything else on this island? I don't recall. Nope. Well, Castle Morn boss cleared out. Easy peasy. I do still have more Castle Morn to look through though. Where do I want to go? Do I want behind the castle, beside the Rampart Jail? Do I want behind the castle? I actually think I want the start because I need to get up top again, right? I want the lift to get back up on the walls and find the part I missed and, like, the king who's somewhere around here. Now the captain will give you something. The captain, that's the word. I gotta go find the captain. On your first playthrough, what build were you using? Faith, strength. Primarily faith. By a long shot, faith until near the end when strength started to catch up. Go to the round table, see if it gave you his remembrance. Um, I don't think it did. It didn't say it gave me his remembrance. Also, I can't go into the door yet. I couldn't spend it on anything. I couldn't check with her. Okay. Let's go around this side. Please no. You're such a real... Jerk. Did that get anyone's attention? No, good. Please do mage build in this playthrough. Uh, you're in luck. I don't take suggestions on build, but that's already what I'm doing. Problem is I don't have a staff, so I can't cast any spells. 
So, welcome to a Mage That Doesn't Cast Spells run. This is our character, The Molding Sky. I hope you enjoy. I, I literally can't cast spells yet. Someday I hope to. All the staves have to be somewhere else, since they're not where they should be. Still need a great rune to see the fingers, I think. Good news is, they might just be out in the world somewhere. Up, 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 and away. Oh shit, I have to get by that big bird again. I don't want to see that big bird again. I did not like that experience. <sighs> okay. I'll get rid of his help first, and then see if I can just avoid him. Let's just keep going. How fast do you think it can chase me? Okay, how do I get onto... It can chase me pretty quick. That does so little. Fuck timing. There's what I'm looking for. The knock you right on your fucking face thing. And this is what I didn't get last time. Ah, here we are. And I think the captain is up there? I don't know, anyway, we haven't been this way, so let's explore it. Anything down here? Staffs? I think you mean heresy sticks. <laughs> uh, but I'm not an inquisitor. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see that. You can break the fence on that bridge of all the Soulsborne characters. I think the two fingers creep me out the most. Really? I thought they were quite weird. I'm sort of used to them now, but I s certainly thought they were weird at the first time I saw them. Yeah, if you could just take care of that. Also, if you could get Scarlet Rotted while you're doing it, I'd appreciate that. You don't have the attack animations to do this, do you? Alright, hang on. Is that better? Weirdos. Are all the Remembrance bosses swapped with each other, or is it just random bosses in the same category? Um... It, it's... Uh, they're swapped with more than just other Remembrance bosses. Seeing as we just we just fought Rykard in the place of the... Oh, actually, does the Land and Misbegotten have a Remembrance? I don't know. Well, you got some interesting armor. Oh my god, he's gone all last of us, Samantha. Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar. Warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. The menials. Good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't worry about it. Whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this, by way of apology. Just had this in your pocket? You're a weird guy. Now then, away with you. You've no reason to risk your neck dawdling here, eh? Can you only... Uh, pomegranates, can you only give him Irina's letter before fighting the boss here? Molding sky meets molding chest. <laughs> Did I miss my chance to give him Arena's letter? No? Did Arena not give me a letter? I talked to Arena. I don't remember if she gave me a letter. Anyway. Maybe I fucked that quest up, but... That's the norm for me. Alright, I think that's everything in Castle Morn. 
I think it's every last little thing. Did you even get the letter? No idea. Let's see. Let's go see if she's dead. She's still there. Still hanging out. I... I fear for father's life. I just saved it. Actually, he's covered in mushrooms. You're right to fear. For every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Implore away. Would you mind taking a letter to my father at the castle when my soul wishes that he escape? Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Sure. Thank you. Dearly. Then please. Take this. <laughs> Deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. You put googly eyes on this? And who carved Pet Rock on the other side? <laughs> so... Um... I assume I can't give him the rock. Why am I running back? I can just teleport. I assume I'm not allowed to just give him the rock. Deliver the stone? I'm gonna try. Letter and other quest items are randomized, if I recall correctly. We got Raya's necklace already. So... This shouldn't take long. I'm just going to run there and check. But this almost certainly won't work. We'll have to come back here when we get the letter. That's my guess. It's a message written in Norse runes. Dad's probably losing it with all the shrooms in his chest. He could use a pet rock. He'll probably think it's a letter. Dude, this game runs so poorly with the mod on. I need to change some of my settings at some point. You look like you could chase me down effectively, so you have to die. You definitely can't, so you get to live. And now that I know where to jump off, we are going right by that bird. I think even if you don't get the letter because you killed the boss, you might still be dead when you get back. We will have a chance to see. When she dies, Edgar is beside her, right? Or is it possible for her to be dead and Edgar still to be here? Basically, I'm asking, is Edgar going to be here waiting for me? Or not? Fuck. All right, can it follow me down here, or am I safe now? Fuck, I forgot about that flower. Good enough. See ya. You would, wouldn't you? You would. Ah! Did you have a block in that animation? Because it looks like I dealt a little damage to you, but not much. It's like I hit his shield. Now then, away with you. You no reason to risk your neck dawdling here, eh? He is not interested in this rock. All right. Well, that quest is going to take some time. Am I still in combat with that bird? It's not letting me teleport away. Didn't catch it last time. What build currently? Int. Int and strength, probably. But right now, we are focused on int, even though we don't have a staff. Some NPC quests require killing a certain boss. Won't the randomizer mess it up? They probably change the triggers to just whatever boss spawns in that location, but I don't know. I have no idea. She can die before Edgar gets back to her, I think. Am I allowed to teleport yet? No. 
No, I'm not. Now? I should be allowed after touching the set of grace, right? Let's go check on her again. Then we'll do Western Weeping Peninsula and then on to Stormvale. How are you doing, Arena? Well, she's still alive without her pet rock. Please, you can be stubborn. I don't know what's going on with her, but she ain't dead yet. We'll have to check her later. Your cat Morpheus likes my stream? It's the best review I could hope for. Hi, Morpheus. Who's a good kitty? All right. We need to go down in and check some runes and caves and shit down here. Just generally for items. Hey, guys. Fuck off. There should be runes. Hello. I forgot there were bodies with just like items here. Stone sword key. Wh I, okay. All right. Interesting enemies. There's usually one of the big demi humans in here, right? It looks like there's something big. Is that a flying ant? That's a flying ant right there. It just spawned like a big plant in here. That's not too bad. Is there an item in here? There's something worth getting. Shit. Ooh, I bit off a little more than I might be able to chew. That helps though. That helps a lot. Love it. <laughs> I'm coming to love that ability, dude. Love your shorts, glad I'm catching you live. I'm glad you're catching me live too. I'm glad you like the shorts, thank you so much for saying that. Godskin Stitcher, is he going again? Mm -hmm. She's still alive, I don't know what's wrong with her. Look, I have certain expectations for my, uh, Elden Ring NPCs. And that is that after talking, to, after I talk to them, they die. Are you doing this again or is this, yeah. You're gonna take forever to kill, aren't you? you take forever. Bro. Two hits. Boy, this goes on a lot longer than I guessed it did. <laughs> and I thought that had more of a wind up. Is there a visceral on plants? Didn't get around to the front in time to see. Gravel stone. Don't remember what that does. First, he couldn't find any weapon to find. Now he has a weapon. He gets so many. Normally, the demi-human queen there drops a staff. Maybe a good omen. Second favorite streamer. I love your content. Second? No, that's fantastic. I'm glad you enjoy it here. Ooh, I didn't mean to get your attention. Did not mean to get your attention originally. Glad it had a happy ending after all. Clean Rot Knight and one of them. Up here we got a couple fucking weirdos. Where do I even need to go in here, really? <laughs> Did you hear that? Don't, 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 don't. Thank you. Hey, crab. Oh, you guys have an item. 
Except have a little old item, don't you? It's a smoldering butterfly. I did that for a smoldering butterfly, Samantha. Flattened, tarnished, smoldering butterfly. God damn it. Second to your dad. Well, that's fair. Toronto can be summed up with finding rocks in weird places. Better than your brother. You've got mixed feelings on your family, but I get it. I get it. Is there anything else in these ruins? Pomegranates. Is there like an underground part to these ruins? Do I need to search them carefully? Or is it pretty much what I see? And with a better memory than me, is there anything like underground at any point in here? Doesn't look like it, right? Did it for six smoldering butterflies. I miscounted. That's so much more worth it. Just for some free runes. There is. Most runes have an underground portion. Fuck. Where's the entrance? Where are they hiding their stairs? I already walked through this part. Ah, wait, I think I see it in there. How do I get in there? The system works. The system works. Played Sekiro, I'd watch you play Sekiro any day. Yes, I love Sekiro. Sekiro's a fantastic game. Another one that will get highlight videos at some point, but uh, I gotta find the time to make them. Fall <laughs> for soft cotton. Ah, eh, anyway. Did I see an overgrown door? Can you just walk in here? Not really. Okay. There's that. Let's head down the south end of this sort of cleft in the Weeping Peninsula, as I believe there's a cave down there. Miss this in mine? It looks like jumping in is the only way to get in there. It's easy to miss. Cuckoo Glintstone. What a motley assortment of weirdos. Hey, no, 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 no worm faces. Thank you. This is what I was thinking of. Let's go see who's here. Oh shit, there was stuff to do up there. Have you got a side of grace for me? Let me grab that and then go check out the stuff to do. Which side is it on? Fuck off. That's it? Oh shit, I missed a higher one. Um. Okay. Then all the way to the ground, or is this another ledge? Hang on, I missed one higher one. In case it's a powerful, like, smithing stone or something, I should check. There's a cave, are smithing stones the same or no? Never mind, it's random. It's all bloody random. Can I get there over this way? Perfect. I sent the thing down anyway just so it would meet me. There's no reason to be here. All right, let's get down there and do the actual work of this place. Can't tell you how many times I had to do something like that. Same. Way more on my first playthrough than this one even. What is your headgear? That is, I can't remember the name of it. The Juvenile Scholar Cap. Though, we don't have any boss at the moment. We need to show our beautiful hair so we can mix it up with something else. We can protect our hair until we get to a boss and need to show dominance. For anyone who hasn't seen this character before, this is the Molding Sky. The Molding Sky is the most wretched 
One second. Ooh, I hit the backstab by accident. The molding sky is the most wretched wretch to ever wretch across the wretched earth. Look at how red their eyes are. Can you see that? Their life is pain. Nothing ever goes their way. But their hair is what they take pride in. Their hair is their absolute pride and joy. So let's protect it for now and we can show it off to a boss when we find one. You did not touch grass. I mean, Grace, I did touch it. I activated it. I didn't rest there, though. Snail in a hand. Bat. Cage guy. What are these? What are those cage guys called? Pomegranates. What are those guys with cages and, like, lots of arms called? I see them a lot and I hate them and I never know how to refer to them. Puppets. Okay. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh. I'm looking at an ass. That's awkward. Marionettes, gotcha. Cage Boy Jimmy. <laughs> Hello. Do you explode? Goodbye. Mushroom. Mushroom. Um. Can I? I can, but it doesn't do anything. He might know I'm here now. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. One of the mounted ones. Awesome. Just fucking great, everybody. Good work, everyone. All right, all of you are gonna get gravity, why not? That gravity is saving my life left and right. That is so good. So good. I always call them cage guys. I don't know what they're referred to as. Cavemen? Cagemen, perhaps. This is where all the mining guys would be. Apparently the mining sound is just tied to the ambient noise of this area because pretty much all of them are going to have turned into something else and we still all heard the ding, 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 ding of them mining as I came down, right? Is this a dead end? No, that goes... Oh wait, I think this only goes on to a little room. No, this goes on to more than a room. Is there anyone waiting for me back here? There's you. There's you. There's you. Black leather shield. And is there, there's you inside alone. Not bad at all. Furled fingers trick mirror. I forget what that does. That's something about like summoning, right? That's the meta PVP stuff. Or is it? Key item. What is it? Hello? Oh. Take on appearance of a host of fingers. I... Is that a good thing? Is it nothing? It removes the glow when in another person's world. Oh, so you can surprise them? 
so it's for bullshit artists. The plan for when a random boss encounter is Melania or Malakath? No, I have no plan. Pee myself? I don't have a plan. You have the Craig Blade Ash of War. It's super good on big heavy weapons. Gravelstone Stone Seal. Hello there, little crab. You're almost sweet. I'm going to leave you alive. Have a good life. All of the way crabs just like dig up out of the ground and eat. I imagine them like digging up out of a popcorn bowl every time. Big dude's forgotten I'm here. Good stuff. That bat here's like a bat. Shit. You gonna take your guess that it's Astel the Grafted? Two in one swat. Okay, the big dude's starting to notice, but these ones aren't, so I guess we need to have a really weird fight with you now. And hope that no one turns around. Someone turned around. Ooh, he might wake up the others now. Or not. <laughs> Truly didn't think that was going to reach me. Please come out this way. You're such a fucking ass. You know that, right? Please come this way. Oh my god, I hate you. Is there a visceral in here somewhere? No? Time to drink again. That took a couple heals. You think it's gonna be a dragon in here? Can he kill the others though? I fucking wish. Turns out no. Unlucky on that front. Visceral is that glowing chest rock? I thought I lined up pretty well with it. I guess I was one step off to the side. Sucks for me. All right, let's quickly go check the other tunnels before we do the boss here. Hopefully there's something to like restore crimson flasks hanging out back here. Just maybe game, if you feel like being nice. Maybe, game. Gotta be Tibia Mariner. Faded Airdly Flower, Mushrooms, there's something back here. Smithing Stone 1, good shit. Peer through the slats in the gate. Well, that's a good idea, we'll get a information ahead of time. But I think it's time to go fight it anyway. <laughs> My delaying strategy hasn't really bought us much time. It's the land and misbegotten. He just moved. He just moved around on Weeping Peninsula. It's your favorite design of the game? Rygard. Do you mean bosses or just anything? 
scaly misbegotten crusader? Dickhead. The damage though, the damage on this man. Might as well have a safety drink. Oh, might as well have another real drink because we're gonna die. I can see why he hired Rykard out to take his place. Rykard did a much better job. Still not good enough. You gonna do Alexander's quest or just kill him to get the worst talisman? I have no idea how to do his quest, so we'll see. Maybe I'll take questions later. All right, maybe I'll ask questions about how to do it later, but right now I found him my freedom from where he was stuck in the ground, and so I guess next we'll find him at the Radon Festival. I don't know how to save him. The one from uh, W Drop? What? This? The, the, it was Ashes, right? What did I get? No, it wasn't Ashes. What did I get? What was W about it? Oh no, I don't. Here it is. Wait. Ashes of a hawk which heeds no summons. Why is that a W drop? I feel like I should know the game better before I start a randomizer, but it's too late now. A oh, quest item. Okay. Should I go see if Edgar wants to read this? It's the ash you give to Nephili. Ashes of a hawk revered by all others as sovereign back in the days when Stormbell's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summons. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, then. That's most of the important stuff down in this little area. I think there might be a cave on the coast? Maybe I should go take a quick look for that, because that has a boss in it, right? A catacomb, I mean. There's like a catacomb on the coast, yes? Or am I thinking of the wrong area? If Ellie is true queen, I think I actually completed her quest line in my first game. Um, unintentionally. I had no idea what I was doing, but unintentionally I made it there. Yeah, this guy. This guy here will show me the way to... Off in this direction. Ash of War, Vow of the Indomitable. He'll show me the way down here, right? Into a catacomb. You're right, normal boss would be bear. Love your lore videos, so good, man. Thank you so much for saying so. I'm glad you uh, enjoy them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spoilers for the YouTube channel. A cave by the water. Down to the river. I remember this place. I remember this. <laughs> oh, I remember you. Actually, is that chest real? Can you get to that chest without it falling? I forget, is this chest real? You can. Silver pickled foot thing. Excellent. Where's the edge? Okay, good. Would have been a bit silly if I'd fallen there, knowing it was a trap. I could really use, like, a lantern of some kind. We should probably go buy the light spell. Because this is becoming a horror game. There's something in here. What are you? Light spell, get the lantern? I don't know where the lantern is. But I do know where the light spell is. Is this a pit? Don't you need a staff to cast the light spell? That is a damn good point. I hope these don't kill me instantly, whatever they are.
How far away are these enemies? Oh god, there's something right here. Get away from it. Don't. terrible our shopkeepers randomized they are if they're a if they sell sorceries or incantations they will still sell sorceries or incantations whichever it is but the ones they have will be randomized and everybody else is completely randomized theodorix's magma that would be a hot deli ability not for the molding sky but neat Well, that's an edge. Oh shit, that is two. Hello? What's happening? Who's here? Hello? Hello? Who is that? Rune Duelist? Oh, hey, guy. You're not too bad, I don't think. Oh, shit, but I don't have any heals. No, I, I, sorry, I mean, I need heals. I didn't realize how much health I had. I've got plenty of heals. Just gotta use them and stop doing shit like that. How do you feel about gravity? You actually don't care too much about gravity. Easy. Easy game. He fits so nicely, he does. That was very dramatic, waiting down here at the end of the darkened cave to shrug off of his shr uh, shrug off his cape and fight me. That was cinematic. The randomizer knows what it's doing. That was great. Okay, I didn't even take note of what I just got from him. I wasn't paying any attention. Hope it wasn't terribly important. Anyone catch what he dropped? Clothes? Oh, yes, yeah, the blue robe armor thing. Right, right, right. Thank you. Blue cloth vest. Got it. Thank you, Samantha. All right, we're done in this little, like, cleft through the middle of the Weeping Peninsula already. I'm pretty sure that's everything I remember being here. Pretty sure. What's that, an omen killer? Yeah. Let's find our way up out of here and somewhere else. Actually, I need to take the bridge over, don't I? I don't know if there's a way to climb out of this area on the other side, but there's a bridge if I come back this direction. My bad, I only saw the rune arc. No worries. Did you get the Mistwood Ruins? Uh, yes, I did. Did I go underneath and fight the, the enemy there? I think I did. I think I did. Hope you have fun. Too jealous to keep watching Randomized? You're too jealous? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, if you're on your way out, have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I can only apologize. Who's Samantha? I feel like I'm missing something. You're Samantha. I say the word Samantha instead of chat. And the reason is there's no reason. I got tired of saying the word chat. Years and years ago now, and I randomly chose the name Samantha. And to be beneath the Mistwood Ruins? I think I did. I'm not 100% that I did, but I think I did. OMG Samantha, she's an icon. Chaos, love it. Good, I'm glad. Let's go check this church out. This would normally have like a sacred tear in it, right? 
Most or all churches have like sacred tears and stuff in them, don't they? Just attacking people for random runes. I don't really need to. Oh shit, how? Why is my health so bad suddenly? I did not see those wolves at first. Okay, all right, hang on. You're still alive. There were two at one point, right? I guess we're good now. Which direction is that facing? Also, is there anything inside here? No. The mausoleum prowls, cradling the soulless demigod. Oh, America, Queen Eternal, he is your unwanted child. What were you talking about? Not sure which one that means. Not sure which one they're talking about there. Am I the only one who misses mimic enemies? Without Samantha, you couldn't do this? What's the roll attack with that sword? Uh. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. They're gonna break a lot of graves. That's just a normal attack though, isn't it? How do I do a special roll attack? No thrust, no thrust. Prosthesis wearer heirloom and tailoring tools. Tailoring tools are the quest item for Bach, yes? I think they are. You rolled an attack? Okay, then no thrust. That's exactly what I did. Just the normal overhead slash. Nice. Plus five dex. It's usually one for light and heavy. I can try heavy. Nah, that's the normal thing. Narrator says Godwin the Golden and also Morgoth says Godric the Golden. Seems related. All right, I don't believe there's anything more than the church up here. We've got the Aird Tree down the... Oh, wait, I ran to the minor Aird Tree here. I think I already know what enemy is waiting there. I'd be willing to try them again, but I don't think it'll go well. I think I know who's waiting for me over here. Yeah, it's the Falling Star. Give him another shot and see how my damage has grown. My damage has not grown. My damage is still crap, oh my god. Torrent, no. So you're like an enemy who's all about gravity. How do you feel about getting hit by gravity? That did a decent amount. Not enough to make me feel like this is gonna happen, but that, that wasn't bad. Also, I have 11,000. Why am I in here doing this? Gravity sword versus gravity cow. I don't know how this will work. I can show you. Badly. Very badly. Fuck. Come back over here a little bit, will you? That's more like it. Of course, you're gonna charge the other direction again now, aren't you, fucker? One more? Shit! I literally wasn't recovered by that time. He's got more gravity powers than me. Shit. Let's get our runes and get out of here. Did I write down that boss is there? Yeah, Falling Star Beast, Weeping Peninsula's Minor Aired Tree. I did. 
we'll take care of that some other time. When I have more appropriate stuff to, for the fight. You got this? Just stay calm. Oh, never mind. Your summons would probably get wrecked by him too. Very much so. They do a little damage before they were gone, but they would very much get wrecked, yes. Hit his face? It's not safe to be by his face. Go fuck yourself. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Hello? Oh, I see it. I don't remember this at all. Did I do this my first playthrough? I don't remember there being a catacomb hidden here. What a great little hidey hole. You know what it was? We didn't show him our hair. We didn't show him our lustrous hair. Bosses need to see that. Never get your runes? Thank you. I'll spend some right now. On. Let's get to 20 int. And we'll probably pause on int until we have specific reason to level it, just because I've been leveling a lot of int. And I only needed 18 of it. This needs two... This needs two keys. No, this needs only one key. Do I have a key? I do! Go me! That was not worth it. All right. That was very not worth it. What else goes on in this one? See a little old rat? That's all I see. Shut up. You guys don't have poise. Oh, you do with that attack. I forgot. Stop trying to scare me. You know, it's po no poise having loser. The hair looks like the mask. If you drop down the west side of the cliff close to the Falling Star Beast, there's an item on a platform. You only found it after 700 hours of play. Definitely giving off some Sam Elliott at a rave vibes. Random enemies seem more fun than those annoying stone imps. Do they? That's awkward. Remember that you have a larval tier so you can respec if necessary. You know I have to go beat Ranala first, right? Or whoever's waiting in Ranala's area. Just leave you alive, right? Nearly, you fucking dickhead. There we go. I know there's an area where they respawn, but do these enemies respawn generally, or is he going to be dead dead now? Because I want him to be dead dead now. The imps are the worst. If you use their weapons, they suck, but when they use them, they're so much faster. The skelly giants don't die, if I remember correctly. I know there's a spot where they don't die. I don't know if that's that spot, or if that's them generally, but let's get the fuck out of here before I'm forced to find out. We've got a magical snail... There's something hanging out on the right. It looks like a rat. No, it's... Is that a gargoyle? No, it's just a crawling zombie. Guy's deaf gonna respawn. Does that say Smithing Stone 7? Randomizer pays out sometimes. Did he drop runes? That's an indicator for their death? I didn't notice. You think he did, Andrew? Alright. Hopefully he's dead. 
I don't hear him spawning behind me, nor see him. Um, I'm not sure I have a bow. There's a side path, though. Okay, we'll go to the side path. I'll check if I have a bow if I really need Actually, let's just look now. Have I picked up a bow at some point? I have. Good. Great. Excellent. Cool, cool, cool. 62, 64. I'm not sure which I have sort of more ammo for or less ammo for, but... Lord Sworn's Bolt. Regular Bolt. Okay, just use some regular Bolt here. Try to remember how to two-hand this thing. And then how do I aim it? Got it. GG. Easy game. Harpo? Wait, what? Where? Hell yeah, Harpo. A bow fashioned from a minstrel's harp. So it was a harp first. I'd think it'd be easier to do it the other way around. Take a bow, make a harp. But okay. Sonorous tones still resound when firing arrows. Troubadours sing tales of champions both in the honorable service of the air tree and the one who spurns honor for blasphemy. I went back, it didn't. The harp bow is usually a painting reward. It makes beautiful musical sounds. I actually remembered there should be an enemy there. Or vaguely, I was like, I think there's an enemy here. Else there's no way I would have noticed that guy. An Aeonian butterfly, eh? Shit, this didn't work out right. Let's try hitting it then jumping on. Ronin's armor. That sounds cool. Is that lightweight enough for me? Yeah. Armor of a man who calls himself Shabriri. Highly functional and heavily worn. The man once known as Yura kept a woman in the deepest reaches of his heart. You should let her out sometime. That's not healthy. Nice. Harpo sounds epic. It does. Venti build. If it was a bow that got turned into a harp, you couldn't shoot it anymore. I thought the idea was that it was both. Because it's a harp that was turned into a bow, but it still makes a nice sound. So it's kind of doing the harp's job still. So I thought you'd start with a bow and make it a harp, but it would still be a bow as well. What up, dog? Not much. How are you? Ronin's armor is cool. Did you pick up a staff yet? No. None. At all. I saw a blue thing in your weapon inventory. Pretty sure I don't have one. Oh, I have the crystal staff. Yes. But it takes 48 int. That's the problem. You're right. I'd forgotten about this, but it takes 48 int. Yeah, exactly. That's, it's a, it's, it's a problem. It is a problem. Am I going the right way? I thought this would be the alternate side place. I want to go the wrong way first. Whatever, we'll keep following this for now. Fuck. Me. That wasn't that much blood loss, actually. That was fine. But I forgot he would explode. Doesn't seem like that skeleton's responding. Where their spine would be somewhere here. The top of their hunched back would be jutting through the floor, I think. Now you have your reason to keep leveling int. <laughs> Everyone already made fun of me for leveling to 50 faith without having reasonable vigor on my first playthrough. Why sh should I really do that again? Did I say int a second ago? I meant faith. 50 faith without getting any vigor. Demi-human staff is wieldable to wretches. Okay, where do you get the demi-human staff? In my randomizer, though, where do I find it? 
I gotta find a staff is the real issue. One that I can use. Would it be wise to try to stick to Bloodhound's Fang in the later game, or should I move on? It's my first playthrough. I'm not sure. I don't know the Bloodhound's Fang. Samantha, if any of you are familiar with the weapon, please feel free to answer, because I, I don't know anything about it. I cannot advise you. I wish you luck, though. Hey, and fucking Gargoyle made it in. A little imp made it in. Good for that fucker. I hate him. Easy. Bloodhound's Fang is amazing. Yes. I'm a proprietor of Big Vig. Thank you all so much for all the subscriptions during stream today. I love having you here. I hope you're having a good time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Poison Bone Dart. A golden seed. Good shit. Good shit. All right, let's get back out of here. I think that's fastest from the top, right? Weapon's amazing, but I can't play with any other weapon since you started with it. It's too OP. Cursed by the too OP blade. Bloodhound Fang is the curved greatsword with Bloodhound Finesse. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I want to... I want to... Is that where I came back in? It is. I want to see if one golden seed is still enough to add a charge of healing before I go up against whatever the fuck's waiting. Here we are. I need to. I need to. Just in case this is a bad fight, let's get ourselves a level. Not go in with anything. So I need like 8,000. How many is this? 2,500. Good. So I need like a thousand more to be safe. I don't know how much it was in the 800s. Thousand more maybe? 2,000, 1,600, 800. Let's just try this and see if I have enough. Did you kill any bosses today? Yes, we killed um, the Leon and Misbegotten, and we've killed one or two cave bosses. I think we killed two cave bosses. Yeah, the important one is we killed the Leon and Misbegotten, or what was there. Hey, thank you so much for the $2. I appreciate that. Oh, I'm ahead of my Streamlabs, aren't I? That'll show up in a second. Thank you so much, Caldera. I, that's very kind of you. Enjoying your content. Keep it up. There it is. Thank you so, so much. You can look up how many runes you need in your status screen, by the way. Where do you get that sword? I don't know. I'm playing a randomizer. So where I got it is not where you can get it. And also, I forgot where I got it. No clue. Anyone else happen to know? I can tell you, if you want to look it up, this is the Alabaster Lord Sword. We can donate now. Congrats. Thank you. Yes. Thanks to all of you. I made partner on this channel a couple weeks ago. I've not turned on the membership function just because I know some people watch here and Twitch and I feel weird about offering two memberships, two subscriptions, but I activated uh, some ads, not during live streams, but some ads and um, what are they called? Super cheers, super thanks, stuff like that. Super stickers. You can look them up in the status screen. I learned something new. I know it shows you how much you need for your next level when you're leveling up. But you're saying here on status? Oh, you're right. Yeah, runes held, runes needed. Good shit. Okay. Get your bets in, Samantha. What do you think this is? It's not going to be Melania. It's not going to be Radon. They don't mix bosses like that into random catacombs. But go ahead, take a stab. Who's waiting for me behind this door? Stone troll. Tree spirit. All right. It's going to be Moog. You get it from killing an alabaster lord in either Rot Lake or uh, Rele, 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 that rune. Stray mimic tier astral. Joe Biden. Watchdogs. Fell Twins, another duelist Black Knife Assassin. What's up from Brazil? Good to see you, Bruno. Hope you're doing well down there. 
Crucible Knight, Bill Clinton, Fire Giant, Uncalcerated, Tree Spirit, Dark Knight, Crusader King, Crucible Knight, Bloodhound, Mimic Tear, Darude, Sandstorm. All right. And Astal. Let's go say. Scaly Misbegotten. I feel like this is a letdown. I'm sorry, everybody. I feel like this was a big letdown. Dead now. Oh, the stream's not that fun when it's going well, is it? Should I get a blindfold? Easy game. Easy game. Hello there. Nascent butterflies. Okay, let's just run back out of here. So I have a chance to touch the Sight of Grace on the way back, because I think if I take the teleport, it will send me beyond the Sight of Grace. And still closer than I'm running right now, but whatever. I already started running. Spin the torture wheel and decide what ridiculous limitation you've got to play with. Should have died from disappointment. It's too easy, just sprint to a late game area. Level up? No, I didn't get much from him. All right, good shit. Tick the box for that. Catacomb. Done. Hi, hi. What's up, KFC? Uh, where do I get down from here? Hmm. Pomegranates, are there any bosses left in Weeping Peninsula? Are, are there any bosses in this area of Weeping Peninsula? Samantha? There's like... The one that go Oh, there's an Everjail. And then there's the one that guards where Selen's locked up, right? What good is there to craft except arrows? There are a couple good crafts. You can craft bombs. What's yelling at me? Hello? Hey, what's ha what, uh, uh, let's go underground. Go to Weeping Everjail, you got it. Kindred of Rod Ashes. Fun. Oh, hello. Did you have to chase me down here? Marionette. Where's a Luigi net, eh? Just you can't take me on your own. That was an action movie bird entrance. I missed some bits. Did the tree get done? The tree. Do you mean the enemy up there? The falling star or something else? What do you mean the tree? All right, who waits in this ever jail? The imp's seal is in effect. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, do I have one? I know where to buy a couple. Could go buy one. Who has a cheap one? One stone sword key for the Summon Water Village in Limgrave. Oh, that's where I need one. Selen, no. Come on, who the fuck sells one? Kale sells one. Is there a sight of grace around here so I can come back quickly? You can do the other boss right next to? Uh, what, in the, the one where Selen is locked up? In the ruins on the other side of this hill? Is this a sight of grace or anything? I love the design on this cloak, even if it's all tattered. You want to find the jar can on your playthrough? Everyone needs a handheld ballista. Ooh, I bet that looks really dumb. Let's put that on. Nice. Nice. Come on, help me out, camera. That'll protect the hair. Nice. It's not where Selen is, but close. 
Um, do the night bosses also randomize? Yes. Though we had a weird coincidence where the cavalry was replaced with the death bird and the death bird with the cavalry, so that wasn't much of a randomization. Shit, we can't talk to that guy right now. Awkward. Easy. Anybody else? What's in here? Oh, right. There is no boss before Selen. There's just Selen here. Hey, Selen. It will do no good. I swear it. And yet you persist. You frothing degenerates! Celibus is keeping her here, right? Right? I remember right. I'm trying to remember how to free her. I had to be guided through the last few steps of this quest in my first playthrough, because I wanted to see a little more before wrapping up and people were kind enough to tell me. I never figure that out. We're sure not getting it done right now. I need some item to give her and free her or something, don't I? Guess we'll have to find that. All right, is there anything else in the peninsula to care about? Uh, the one on the right, think Aggiel Lake. Yep. Other side of Grace here. Is there a painting in here? This looks like a painting, but oh, there's a merchant! Have you got a stone sword key on you for a reasonable price? Well, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. What all is randomized? Virtually everything. All enemies, all bosses, all items, and all important items. However, there are tiers. Important items are only swapped with other important items. It can still get pretty weird because, like, a golden seed and a great rune could be swapped. And, um,. There are some limitations on bosses, like I don't think Melania can show up in the catacombs. I don't think. Could I have your bell bearing so I don't have to come all the way back out here later? And now, what do you have? You do have a stone sword key for 2,000. That's not too much. You have three stone sword keys. You have a death root. You have a fucking lantern! Oh, that's way more important. That's so much more important. You have golden seeds? Good man. Good man. Note, Flask of Wondrous Physic. I already have the Flask of Wondrous Physic. You also have the Iron Wet Blade. I don't think I have one of those. Death Root and the Stone Sword Key. God, I kind of want to buy these things. Best merchant ever. So, hang on. I'm going to have to at least write down that he's got... So let's see. Uh, 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 weeping Peninsula... Isolated Merchant. Yeah, okay, I've got his name. What does he have that I'm not going to buy right now? Probably two Stone Sword Keys, the Death Root. I might try to buy the Wet Blade. Let's say I'm going to leave him with 2x Stone Sword Keys. I'm writing this down so I can find him and get them later. Oh wait, I can just use his Bell Bearing. Why am I doing all this writing? I feel stupid now. Let me see, I need 2,000 for that thing. Is there anything else I wanted to buy? The whetstone. So I need like 4,000 if I can get that. Uh, yeah, I can. 2,000. 3,600. 2,000. Or 4,000 total. I, I counted that weird, but I swear to God it worked. Give me one stone sword key and give me the iron wet blade. Thank you. Have a safe journey. Easy game. What's so nice? The normal one, which I think is guaranteed at the Stormfront Palace. Uh, but in a randomizer, it's guaranteed. All right, let's go see who waits in the Ever Jail. Now that we can. 
What does the iron one say? Iron wet blade with a cipher engraved can be used as a whetstone knife. When applying an affinity using Ashes of War, an additional affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. Iron one is for physical affinities. I'll be honest, I don't actually know anything about them because I never changed affinity seriously in my first playthrough. I had the cipher Pata. I liked what it had. Same with my other weapons, <laughs> really. So all I know is they may be useful later. I should get them when I see them. Oh, it is guaranteed in the randomizer? Eh, it's only 2,000. Too bad for me, but not a problem. Uh, you. Let me in. Let me in. Who we got? Coded Sword is great too. People kept telling me about that after I beat the game the first time. I never found it. I would have loved that thing from the sound of it. I never got it. Electo of Zamor. Oh, hello. You're gonna be really fast, aren't you? I'm gonna hate it, aren't I? Okay, then. Oh, why am I heavy? Is the chainmail coif too heavy? Right on my hair! Try that again. So I used a winged scythe and a shorts once. Would you recommend it? Yes. The weapons I ended up being most happy with and using the most were the winged scythe, the cipher pata, and the magma worm scale sword. Reveals air dies. Watch out for the Malakath Melania blade spinny thingy. Tyke this early. This is Electo. Thank you. I imagine they're quite a bit like Taiki. very helpful in the timing there, and it nearly worked out. Ugh, oh, close. Close to being done drinking. That keeps hurting you after, because it has the fucking bleeding thing. Not, not blood loss, but... Oh, that, like, black and red flame effect. Try one more time, but we might need to buy a note this boss for later. <sighs> I want a shield so I can try parrying them. Though that would take plenty of practice. I have two winged scythes, so I'll dual wield. You're gonna cut your leg off, but good luck to you. You like the horn too, right? Oh yes, the horn is good. Didn't like swinging it that much, but it did fine. But duding on it's the best. Duding on it's great. I was late to that dodge, really? Dude, I can't get out of that. <laughs> Look at my health, man. Okay, it's gone now, but fuck. When do you, like, get knocked down and I can hit you really hard? When that, huh? Nice early dodge there. Nice can't drink here. gets to dodge before I can attack again. That seems dumb. Like when I knock him over with my gravity. I don't like that. <laughs> I 
That takes so long, you bastard. Do a reasonable length of shit. Am I alive? <laughs> Lucky. No more heals. I missed the timing. By missed, I mean I shouldn't have done that attack. There was no time for it. I missed it. God, I had the right idea, but I just, I shouldn't have done that. What am I saying? Well, that was better, but I want a faster weapon or some spells for him. So let's just make a note right now. <sighs> Leave a couple lines for the Weeping Peninsula Merchant. He had two Stone Sword Keys remaining. He had a Death Root. And then he had, I think, some stones. Oh, right, I don't need to write that down because I have a thing. I already forgot. Weeping Peninsula. Everjail. Electo of Zamor. To do later when I have more appropriate weapons. No summons in that Everjail? I didn't even think about that, but are there none? I doubt they'd make a massive difference. Do you have decent incantation? Nope, I'm not a faith build. I have no incantations and I haven't leveled any faith. My first playthrough, I was definitely a faith build and let me tell you, the best. I'd recommend it to anyone. Play faith. Good incantations, good weapons, all around a fun time. I just wanted to hit you once to be really mean. You didn't need to attack me back. I don't think there's anything along this wall. This is a teleport trap that I think sends you to Kalid at the top of this tower. I forget where it sends you, but it sends you somewhere awful. Is there anything else around here? Don't even see items in the tower. See items here, though. To Layden. Cave entrance is very close to the Everjail. Oh, is there another cave I haven't been to here? What is this about? I forget what this kind of area is for. It's that glow. I love when it insta-kills a couple enemies. This gravity attack is so good on little guys. Alright, what is this about again? Is it a thing to hit I just missed before? Not very exciting. I was hoping it was going to be one of the ones that gives an Ash of War usually, because that might actually have an interesting item on it. This one sends you to, wait, sends you to Landell? Wait, this teleport sends you to Landell? No way. You guys answer my question? This tower sends you to Landell. To the Altus Plateau, just south. Leads you to the tower to restore Melania's great rune. Really? That seems downright fucking cruel. I'd forgotten that. Could have healed before killing the Scarab. Eh, it's not a big deal. Would have been more efficient, though. You're right. I think we can get out of the Weeping Peninsula now, right? There's only one enemy there. Oh, is that where there's, like, a giant and you're standing by a lift? It's just a big empty pit because it's at the bottom. That one? Yes, okay. I remember that one. I remember that. Oh, fuck it. Let's go see what's there. Let's go see what has spawned there in the randomizer. Kind of hoping to hit you. Jerk.
Please don't hit me while I'm climbing. No arrows. Thank you, jerk. Talisman's pretty good, though. Ah, but something else will be there. Might still be good. Okay, where are you going to take me? Well, you're going to take me to the same place. What's going to be waiting for me? That's what I mean. Did you go to the flower boss cave in the first playthrough? The flower boss cave. I don't remember it. Not sure. 2 HP isn't too much, but it's something. <laughs> the giant's so small this time. It's a miniature. We have a Warhammer figure of the giant that's usually waiting here. Ooh, he does have more appropriate health. For uh, Landel, however. Easy peasy. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. Love Elden Ring because it has so much replayability with its open world elements and other fun software games don't have much. Once you're done, that's it. I think there's a lot of fun in replaying them with, you know, just imposing challenges on yourself or trying different builds. So I'm actually, I'm in a funny place where Bloodborne is my favorite. I actually, I think this is a better game than Bloodborne, but I like Bloodborne one iota more. I like Bloodborne just a bit more personally. However, I think Bloodborne has the least replayability because it's got the least build variety. All the others have more replayability, and this, oh, this beats them all out for replayability, both in its build variety, and you're right, in the size of the world and the variety of ways to take things on, and finding stuff you totally missed the first, second, and even third times. Don't grab you, he'll eat you. Wow, five throwing daggers for all that work. We got a miniature. We got a miniature. Oh, I forgot I even got those golden seeds. We've got a miniature enemy and a miniature reward. <laughs> all right. We have done most of Limgrave. What we've not done is this place. Nor have we done this ever jail. There's probably something in here. You guys were talking about a boss cave that I don't think I went to. Probably something in there. We've not killed the dragon here or looked through. We really haven't looked through anything around this lake that closely. I haven't gone up. Okay, so we haven't really done Limgrave, but I'm moving on. That's the message you should take from this. Okay. <laughs> Wait, why isn't the golem there? What do you mean? It's always been that little guy. It's a randomizer. Now then. Let's go. Back to Margit's. Yeah, it's done enough. The big thing I've really skipped is I haven't gone underground to uh, Sifra yet. At all. When do you think I should go underground to Sifra? Definitely has the most charisma of their games. When do you think you're supposed to go to Sifra normally, based on like the difficulty of the enemies there? During your time in Limgrave? Later? Have you beaten Godric? Nope. This is my first time going beyond Margit's... Um, yeah, what's it called? Grace. Come over here, won't you? You're, you're tarnished, aren't you? True. I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Why? It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Ooh, tr 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 Those could be actual hands in the randomizer. The guards don't know about it. You breach the castle undetected. Yes, that's the spirit. I forget what he says. You're just the but I think I know where he tells you about right. anyway. I pray for your success. 
Uh, wasn't Margit the fire giant? How was that? He was. I would call it awkward, but it wasn't terribly hard. It took me like five or six tries. Neither hard nor easy, but really awkward. Recommended be at least level 60 before going underground. What? Really? Oh, I did it like right away. Weird. Weird stuff. How about that lantern? We need to uh, put that on my quick equip stuff. How do I do that? Over here. I want to set it on one of these. Uh, switch. Did I buy that lantern? I did buy that lantern. Good stuff. Oh, the game's playable again. Like level 30, 40? Okay. Don't need to be level 60 for the underground area at the minor air tree. There are different underground areas. Yeah, I'm just talking about the one you get to from near the minor air tree in the uh, Mistwood, Mirkwood, whatever it's called. Mist Whistle. What's up, Ticket Sickly? I haven't been able to catch your streams lately. Glad I did this time. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend, friendo. Ah, uh, here we are. I was going to say, I, I know I came down here the first time I played the game, but I forget where I'm going. I think I'm just jumping back onto the stairs and going around again. Have you talked to Roger? I've not met Roger. Okay, so this is the side path, yes? Or is there a doorway through here to what he calls the side path? There is a doorway here. It's what he calls the side path. Uh, what's like... I like items. Flame sling? Not for me, but what a cool thing to find. And some smithing stones. There's a lot of items down there. What's guarding the main gate out of curiosity? I missed any bosses since Leonine Rykard? Just some catacombs bosses. We found the Leonin Misbegotten waiting for us inside of a mine. Um, I don't, I don't know how to open this gate. How do you go through the main gate if you wanted to? Is it impossible to go through the main gate? Oh, oh, you ask him to open it. Did I already screw that up You're by telling him the other thing? Of course, I understand. All right, cool. When you approach the gates, I'll signal them to open. It's only your neck on the line after all. Oh. Make sure I understand correctly. Since Godric's a great rune boss, could he be swapped by another great rune boss? Yes, he could also be swapped by a non-great rune boss, though. Did I? The gates! Oh. Open the gates! What is that thing up there? Oh, that's like a scarlet rotting giant bird, isn't it? Okay. Uh, who else is around here? Got a fucking blade-footed eagle, it looks like. That's a, uh, powerful demi-human. A wolf. There's a bunch of shit going on here. Let's grab the side of Grace. Azula Beastman Ashes, the Smithing Stone 1, an ancient death ranker. Is how the gate was opened? Who did the work? Where are they? Bloodbird, oh no. Shard Spiral? Oh, I can't wait for the day when I have a uh, staff and can actually cast that. Let's go look up this way to start. Shit, you came down here with no regard for anything. Fuck. Oh, I did get to finish it. 
I didn't get to finish that. I kind of thought that the Bloodbird, you know, it's not supposed to be there. It won't know. It won't have the programming to jump down. I was proven wrong. Sure, I've missed so many graces and limb graves still. Should go back and correct that. That's a blood bird. How much would you say you missed in your previous gameplays? Ooh, I missed a lot of quests. And I probably missed... I don't know. Probably not much. I probably did, like... It's very hard, but I think I'd be estimating safely if I said I did 85 to 90% of what was in the game excluding quests but like in terms of bosses and locations and things I think I still saw most of them we're gonna use the second to heal rather than hit you holy shit Dude, you block until you actually move that out of the way. I know the shield was still on my side, but when your shoulder came down, I thought you were going to get hit by the next attack. Painful realism for me there. Is that Bloodbird gone? For real, though, where is it gone? Hang on. Okay. Can it use stairs? Not really. What ending did you get? Last time I sat on stream. I spoiled it for someone who wants to see what I got by the time I get to the end of the highlights. I guess I'll do what I did then. But before I say this, let me say aloud. Do not type out what I'm going to say so that people who cover their ears for a second don't get spoiled, all right? Don't type out or react in a way that makes it clear what I said. But, spoiler alert for the end of my first playthrough that you'll get to see in the highlights eventually. The ending I got. Give me like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear it here, if you want to see it happen. The ending I got was Ronnie's. After, after murdering every sorcerer I could find, the only person I liked by the end was Ronnie. It took a very, very long time to get to that point emotionally. Really was quite an arc to the whole playthrough. I know. I know. Look, I, I know where you're at right now. It feels like I betrayed something, but don't worry. You'll see how it happened. Okay, I thought you were gonna wait down below. I didn't realize you were this dedicated. Okay, you can fuck off and all. I thought this led me to the side of grace up here. I for kind of forgot where I am right now. When I started running, I just sort of lost it. Ash of War, Golden Vows, super cool. The Mary Mask, excellent. Okay, I think I know where I am now. <laughs> you know what, I think it's time for a little gravity. I think it's time for a little bit of gravity. Everybody enjoy the gravity. You were waiting for me to stop paying attention to you, weren't you? You're biding your time. Oh, Christ. We try Elden Ring in first person in the future. It looks pretty cool. I have seen that. I might. No promises, but it looks cool. I might be up to try that someday. 
teach high school and a lot of what you do slash have to do for your audience is very similar to how I have to manage my kids. It's very important to manage expectations. I got turned around. Okay, I came in from there. So the Sight of Grace should be up there. Yeah? How many more enemies are between me and it? I see one guy. Is it literally just that one? There's a painting in here? I forgot about you. Uh, paintings, by the way, are also randomized to lots of other items. So let's see what this is. The Chrysalid's Memento. What? is the chrysalid's memento. A memento left by the chrysalids sacrificed for grafting. A brooch wrapped in red velvet. Traces of blood are visible. Faintly visible spirits try to convey something, but their voices cannot be heard. I have no clue what that is. I'm not sure I picked that up my first playthrough. If I did, I have forgotten it. Don't even know what it's for, but cool. Cool. It's for the girl in red. I don't know who the girl in red is. The girl in red. Did I just break that? Did gravity break that? Can I break these statues with gravity? Why'd that break? Spirit tuning girl? Oh, I know who you mean. She wears red. Fuck my memory. Red Riding Hood? Hey there, little Red Riding Hood. Pog Weapon. She's on the way up to Stormvale. She starts in red but takes the hood off later and you can loot it. Doesn't open from this side. Any other exits to this place? Okay. And do you go up or down? I wasn't paying attention. Up. Alright, great. All right, if we're gonna go this way, let's first, really quickly, let's just go actually hit the side of grace and get my heals back and my FP back and stuff. Lord, it's War Sickle's a super late game weapon. Is it any good for me? Strength dex. I don't have the dex for it, and I'm not planning on investing in, I guess I would only need two points of dex. Physical and magic damage. Scales with int. This actually might be of interest to me. Hm. The gravity might be better. You know about the secret area in Stormvale? Um, I, th I think I know the one you're talking about. It's an in weapon. Right outside that room, you can drop down to find a boss. Intricately crafted silver war sickle wielded by Loretta, Knight of the Helig Tree. Originally given for service as a personal guard to carry in royalty, the weapon's blue glintstone has been replaced with unalloyed gold. Skill Loretta's Slash. Skill of Loretta, the Royal Knight, leap forward, imbuing the blade with glintstone, then descend, accelerating into a sweeping slash. Very complex, fancy way of saying, you jump on him. You jump on him, you get to jump on him. Enemies don't like that, don't expect that. Even if they see you coming, you get to jump on them. That's Loretta's accent, if you're curious why I was talking that way, that's what she sounds like. Had you forgotten? Fucking hell. Have you watched any anime and wish so? If so, which are your favorite ones? I watched a lot of anime in high school, then I took a long break. I've watched a little recently. Recently, I've watched Chainsaw Man, like four episodes of that. Seemed good. I don't love it as much as everybody seems to love it, but I quite enjoyed it. It seems very good. I watched the first four, five episodes of Trigun Stampede, and it kind of makes me want to go back and rewatch the original Trigun. Because I watched the original Trigun when it first started being available here in the US. And I got to the midpoint, the fight with the samurai, which if you don't know Trigun is a real low point in the quality of that show. And I went, yeah, fuck this and stopped watching. And apparently the show just goes great after that. So I never knew. Anyway, I know some of the twists now because Trigun Stampede, which is basically a, an odd remake, starts with a lot of the twists from the second half of Trigun. But it does seem cool. I will say the tone is pretty wild of Trigun Stampede. It's very well done. The look, I'm all about it. It looks great. 
I'm a little worried we'll lose a lot of hand animation with the advancements of CG anime, but it looks great. I can't fault them for the look and the animation. It's awesome. I love the voices and the plotting and so on, except it's like episode one, adorable. Episode two, whimsical, fun, what a time. Episode two is like exactly what I want out of it. And then right in the last moment of episode two, it's suddenly incredibly grim. And then episode three is grim as fuck. And then four is happier. And then five is grim as fuck. And it's like, what is the tone here? Holy shit, dude. But each episode was quite enjoyable. You aren't a Makima simp yet? I, uh, no. I don't like Makima. Because she's manipulative. She's physically attractive, but fuck her. She seems awful. Power is more interesting, but also she's a filthy weirdo. Which makes her even better, so I like power. Uh, I also am watching uh, Mob Psycho Season 3, and I'm loving Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is the only anime I've watched recently that is just like completely won me over. I so, so love Mob Psycho. I watched a little Devil as a Part-Timer. That seems cool, but I haven't watched a lot of that. I've just watched like two, three episodes. Um, What else, what else, what else? I guess that's it for like really recent animes. After that, you have to go back to like, I watched Neon Genesis Evangelion and Cowboy Bebop when uh, Toonami was playing it and stuff like that back in high school. Good answer, best reply. I love mobs so much. I think season one is almost fucking perfect. Season two, despite having the better intro. Season two is excellent, but they change the kind of villain he's fighting and the way they fight him. And I like him just being super powerful in one. And so far three is getting back to what I liked about one. But I've liked all of it. Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Actually, I have seen a few episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen. And if you wrote down a synopsis of Jujutsu Kaisen, it would sound like exactly everything I dislike in anime. But I quite enjoyed the episodes I watched. It seems good. How many did I see? Like, I don't know, five or six or something. Yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen seems excellent. I usually hate the whole, like, we're all in a high school for fronting demons and there's going to be a tournament. I don't like a lot of those anime tropes. Jujutsu Kaisen seems good. Hit you with its voluptuous rear. Watch any bleach? No, there isn't enough time left in my life. I'll die before it's done, so no. Cabby Bop is great. Liked it even more the second time I watched it years after I found it in college. Watch Bleach at all? I've never seen any Bleach. No. I'm just joking about knowing that it's very long. I don't know anything about it, really. Recently started watching Demon Slayer. Animation's pretty good, not gonna lie. Jujutsu Kaisen uh, is a really good take on standard shonen tropes. Hook claws, neat shit. You would die happily. One Piece. One Piece is also incredibly long, isn't it? Isn't One Piece also an insanely long anime? Or am I misremembering? Am I talking out of my ass? Shit. We got him. I think we got him. We don't got him. I think we got him. Get fucked. For a level two golden rune. Get fucked. How do you watch Bleach? Would that be like watching paint dry? Are you shaking the bottle or something? Is this the way down to the fucked up part? Or is this the way forward? I can't remember. There's the side of grace, so we can at least get that. Basically caught up in a year for One Piece. God damn, dude. It takes some time, doesn't it? Oh, I know where we are now. Guess what, Samantha? We get to see who's waiting. We get, we get to see who Godric is. I wish I could use some of these Elden Ring mods, but I'm limited by my PlayStation user flesh. I'm sorry. I wish there was a way to make mods more available on consoles. That would be amazing. Cut out the filler. Bleach is a bit more reasonable. I bet a couple people have written guides on how to do that too, right? All right, we need 8,600 for a level. Is there any way I can do that? So I need um, 3,900. Okay. 
1,600 times 3. But yeah, that should be it alone, right? 2 is 3,200. Oh, I meant to use 2. My bad. There's 3,200. I need 700 more. One of these is worth 8, isn't it? Perfect. Okay. That's a level. Put another one into Int, because eventually we need 48 Int. It's not going to give me another staff before the Crystal one is in our reach, it seems. Fallout and Skyrim have mod support on Xbox. Limited, but you're right. And mod support on PlayStation. It just works. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Been watching for about a week now. Figured I'd at least say hello. Oh, hello. I love your name, Melcinder. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take the chance to say I appreciate all of you lurkers. I know not every streamer does that. I've seen awful things where people are like, hey, you lurkers. Everyone just say hello for a sec. I want to see who's at their computer and get a chance to thank you by name. All right, lurkers. And then people fill the chat up with messages. First time chatters have never said anything. And they're banning left and right because they hate lurkers. I've seen awful pogroms like that. I appreciate lurkers. One of the rare channels that does. This is all sarcasm, by the way. That other people hate lurkers. Not that I appreciate them. Let's be clear. Hello on my phone, good to see you, the EMC. You can just respect if it doesn't pay off. Here we go now. Who do you think is going to be waiting here? What's the history behind Samantha? I've only known one Samantha, personally, in my life. And they only went by Sam. So, when I got sick of saying the word chat, which happened really quickly in my streaming career, I just was like, I'm going to give you a name. What about Samantha? I chose it randomly, but I guess it was basically a free name in my mind. Astol the Grafted, it's going to be Duo Gargoyles. That was Malakath, wasn't it? Mighty Dragon. How quickly does the fog door close? It's fog, right? So it's got to like fill up and solidify. There's some time I could escape, isn't there? Deliver me unto greater heights. Well... I'm worried about this. Probably a little screwed. A little. I'm gonna need that, like, guide on how speedrunners skip Stormvale to go to Lyurnia. I command thee I am the lord of all that is golden. Oh god, do I wish you were here, Godric. <laughs> Malaketh the Grafted. Oh. <laughs> Why do you still have Godric's voice? <laughs> To try this again. A low health. They have low health. You do decent damage? That I do. But I'm slow. Fuck me. So, I for, uh, that, that happened last time. I've already forgotten that's how that works. So, for anyone who didn't see my first playthrough, I didn't do a lot of summoning, partially because I never remembered to, and partially because, you know, it's fun to take on bosses a little bit yourself and see if you can do it without summons. Malaketh is a boss that I used every single summon possible for. I've never faced Malaketh alone. And even then, it took me a lot of tries. Fuck you, what the hell was that? Shit, shit, shit. Newly tarnished. Not unfit even to you got this? Hey, thanks for believing in me. Fuck, dude. <laughs> I 
He's my favorite boss in all of Elden Ring. <gasps> you were right. If I talk about furries, furries appear. I'm kidding. It's fucking cool though. Come on now. Stop yelling right in my ear. Shit. Drink. Tarnished. Though it unfit even to grab. Malakath is such a cool boss, they should have given him a full health bar. How does it work when you usually meet him? Does he come out at the half health point? Or do you do a full health bar and then he has his own full health bar? I take it from what you said, he comes out at the halfway point. His heavy strikes feel real good. If I can land more of them. If I can roll sideways so I'm tied to this. That also would be real good. I need to get out of the way. No, I don't. Where was the explosion? Fuck me, man. Fuck. Shit. Tarnished. Not unfit even to grab. I think this was a boss that I used every summon available for, and I Scarlet Rotted them and ran and had hidden a corner. Christ. Getting him early is probably a good thing. Don't want it with fire giant health. This dragon Fortis Axe is such a cool dragon. His health bar is a joke. I think it's roughly 45% HP from Beast Clergyman to transform to Malakath. I could try jump attacks. Excuse me. Tiny burp in the middle of that word. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. What do jump attacks do? You can see how much I learned in my first play. Jump. What'd that do? Ooh. I forgot to summon things. I'm jumping. I'm jumping at him. I'm not getting the distances right, but I'm jumping. Shit. Fuck off. I hit circle then X, and I meant to hit circle twice. But I was just panicking, fucked up the buttons. Jesus. Fuck, man, where are you going? I feel like I can't hit him with jump attacks. I've hit like half of them at best. Jump attacks allow you to roll away quick. I think I need to get buck ass naked and be lightweight. They deal stance damage, okay. Charged heavies do the most, but good luck with that. Jump into him. What am I at right now? Medium load? And now? And now? And now? My sword alone is medium load? Okay. wasn't even aimed at me, Samantha. That wasn't even aimed at me. I think a boss should have to aim at you. I'm all about paired combat, you know?
Good shit. Good shit. Oh my god. Were you right? Were you right? Where's your face? It's in the stairs! Samantha! I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move, I gotta move. I gotta drink, I gotta drink. <gasps> the last possible moment. Great Godfrey, didst thou witness? Half. We got to half. <sighs> you can also jump him. Yeah, I managed to earlier. Rip in advance, say thanks for believing in me. I think these things are doing the job to at least take attention sometimes. But maybe it's just making them less predictable. Hopefully they're doing a little something, because I just summoned them again. Shouldn't have tried just then. Man, I thought that was his uh, overhead for some reason. Don't know why I thought that. I'm jumping at him, but I keep going around him in weird directions. Jet. Dodge. Roll and run, and <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Sh come on! I had no idea that had a follow up to it. Like that the ground was gonna be all bubbly and painful. Man. Man. Imagine the next phase of the boss is gonna be Beast Clergyman. Oh, yeah, Godric has a second phase, doesn't he? I don't yet know how that's handled. Did he just stab the air? Man's so mad he stabbed the air. Why's man stabbing the air? Jump that one. That was actually intentional, not just luck. There's one of my friends down. Fuck! <laughs> Where are you gonna be? Stand still. Shit! Oh shit! This is... Back up! Stamina time. Okay, we're good. We're not great, though. Stab the air again. Sweet miss. Sick miss. Great Godfrey. <sighs> Didst thou witness? But I got a knockdown once, and not any of the other time. Could switch out your blue for reds? My blue for reds? What do you mean? That's just the color of his skin. I can't change that. Only jump when he's distracted, also try heavy attack. Every single attack there was a heavy attack. The drink, do I have a blue flask? No, I don't have any. I only have uh, healing flasks. Oh, 
a way to spawn them right where they got hit. Sorry. I'm supposed to lead them. Shit. Okay, uneven terrain helped me there. I found his weakness and it's a slope. Sorry? What just happened? You fucker. My summons are already gone. I think I just got hit by your arm, not even the sword. Too late by a split second to catch you before you jumped, really? Oh, fuck off, man. No, I'm choosing all the wrong times to heal. All the wrong times. You goomba to you. The summon does no damage. Yeah, but there's nothing else I'm gonna do with my FP, so. I summon them because it takes his attention sometimes, and it's given me an opening to attack him. Very little. But occasionally it's given me an opening. Try a different weapon? Uh, all my other weapons I don't think scale very well with my abilities. What do I have? Uh, what do I have that I can use? Short Spear? Absolutely not. Serpent Hunter? That's a huge downgrade in damage because I don't have the appropriate decks. The Vulgar Militia saw what I was using before, and it causes blood buildup, but this weapon sucks. It just attacks so slowly, it takes forever to get things to bleed. Malekith would need to be really weak to bleed for it to be worth it. Daggers and short swords and, uh, yeah. I can't really use anything else interesting right now. I would need to level up. Don't they give you a specific item to fight him where he usually is in the game? Oh, you know what? I never figured out how to use that either. Light load, good thinking. That was my first playthrough weapon, don't diss it. Hey, I was so pleased to get it in this randomizer because it took me a while to get any weapon changes. But I left it for the Alabaster Lord Sword as soon as I could. We got the bleed off a few times. Others, no. Just because of its incredibly slow swing. Not that the Alabaster Lord Sword is really fast. But it's not trying to build up status, which you usually want speed for. So I nearly rolled through that roar. Getting my old Monster Hunter skills back that way. Shit, I should... Don't roll in all the time. It's not a good idea with him. Well, how did you end up... I thought you flipped backwards. How did you end up over there? Just on the edge. Shit. Almost didn't see what was going to happen there. I can't knock him down anymore. Just not allowed to knock him down any longer. Come back up here, though. There are still benefits to being on the incline. Interesting misses. I can't escape that.
Interesting miss there when I just held forward. I can't, I can't move, I can't move fast enough. Fucking hell. That miss is painful. Still haven't gotten a knockdown in a while. In multiple attempts. I hate it. I'm trying to heal <laughs> at the wrong time. What the fuck is with the direction my dead jumps carry me? Where are you going? Come here. <laughs> Am I gonna burn to death? <laughs> Fuck, dude, jump attacks don't do shit. I got two golden seeds. Maybe the first time when it actually knocked him down, I hit him in the head way more or something. Wait, there was no phase two. <gasps> we got off easy. I didn't get off easy. Oh, anyway, yeah, GG. Light load works wonders. Thank God, no second phase. I think Malekith has a cold. Amazing battle. I'm so glad that's done. Oh, I would, you know, like, I was ready to do a couple more tries and then leave and come back some other time with a few more levels, maybe some different equipment. I'm so glad we didn't do that. He's dead. I'm glad he's dead. What can I wear and still have a light load? The fur raiment? Let's put the fur raiment. Can I wear anything else and still be in light load? No. The fur raiment it is. There we are. Just warm up a little bit. Now go to round table. Where's a, uh, where's a, uh, actually it should reset if I do this, right? I'm curious if gas stock will be here stomping on Godric's head or not. There he is. What a pathetic excuse for a Lord you were. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Pushing me about like that, and after all that grafting, where did that get you? Well, I appreciate the information, Just Jester. I'll figure it out on my own, though. Would you? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Oh. Hello there. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. What did I miss? You missed me beating Godric. Goes around, comes Godric. Around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Though I do have yet to meet him. We'll find him later. What do you sell again? You sell anything important? You sell a rune arc, poison bone dart, glass shard, beast blood, ash of war, quick step, the iron cassa, crucible horn shield, the frozen needle, the scorpion stinger, ash of war eruption, the flame drake talisman, and the volcano manor invitation. Should probably write some of that down. Stormvale. Gastock. Yes, has Volcano Manor Invitation 
He has the Flame Drake Talisman. There's like a higher level of that though, right? Unless I really need that. We can hold off and hopefully just skip to getting the higher level one later. If we find it or another vendor has it. Iron Cast I don't care about. Crucible Horn Shell I don't care about. Frozen Needle and Scorpion Stinger. Frost and Scarlet Rot. But this is quite high dex. This is really quite easy to use. I bet there's an easier way to do it. But I'll write down Scorp Stinger. This might be something I get some use out of someday. Parentheses. Rot Dagger. Good to know he has. Okay, and then Ash of War Eruption. And Ash of War Quick Step. Good shit. Good shit. He also has Bloodhound Step. That's with, uh, what's that Fiery Ash of War Eruption? Do I know what I want to level? I have enough runes for two levels, but I don't know what I want to level. Because I still don't have a fucking staff! Do you give you the remembrance? I forget where remembrances are held. Um, I don't know. Remembrances are just in normal items, right? No? Or is it a key item? I think the answer is no. I don't think I got the remembrance. Now you can go talk to Roger because you killed Godric. Oh my god, you're right. I never found Roger. I didn't see... I, oh, because I didn't go the side way. I didn't see Roger. I, don't, I didn't even think about that when I chose my direction. What's up, Roger? Wearing Ranala's crown? Pleased to meet you. The name's Roger. A sorcerer, by trade. But now I'm in this sorry state. I had a little mishap, and now I can't move. Oh no. As you might guess, it's far from ideal. Ah, I know. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? Time can move rather slowly, stuck here, you know. A little conversation. Let's the giant face in Stormfield? Nope. Different but equally large hat. I have defeated Godric. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. No. Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. This was his rapier plus eight, right? It still is rapier plus eight. Hell yes. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My kind of funny that's not randomized. Me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. About D. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths I have met D. I forgot that I'd met D. To cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. I forgot that I'd met D because he's dressed so differently. That's almost a plus three in somber levels. Why is this Roger's attire? Is it a patch or is it a new journey? My randomizer randomizes um, NPC clothes. For most NPCs, not all. Some of them are hard-coded and you can't change them. Here, let me show you. Meet Dialos. Looking nice and cash. Meet Corwin, who is missing their pants, but otherwise heavily armored. Ensha. Gideon Offnir is kind of funny. He looks like a Bloodborne character. And when he talks, you can see his face a little bit. But the best one we've had so far, my favorite at least, the one that makes me happiest and laugh the most. Let's do this as a reveal again. <laughs> She's so good. She's so... The coy way Gold Mask looks over their shoulder. Yes, Blythe has the same stuff on. Blythe is not messed with by the randomizer. Okay, what have you got? You should still have incantations, because people who sell in, or, or sorceries. 
People who sell sorcery still have them. You have Smithing Stone 2, you have the Gargoyle's Great Sword, and you have Lucidity, alleviates buildup of sleep and madness. Which costs 10,000? You charge 10,000 for that? What the hell's wrong with you? You charge 10,000. I have no idea what that should actually cost. I don't know if that's a good spell. Who are you? Oh, hello. I've not seen you here before. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior. Here I totally forgot that fight. she's ever standing here. As a fellow tarnished. I didn't even look in this corner. The round table hold. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. He's in his study. The room enters guarding just over there. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. What do you think Hot Deli would think about your int build? Who wins that fight? Hot Deli wins that fight. Are you kidding? Hot Deli destroys the Molding Sky. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior. Should the fates deign it. It's Is that about it? time okay. I'll see you again. This hasn't opened yet, right? Okay. Is he in there even before it opens? can't really tell. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I can see some bright red through there. I think he is in there. I got some bell bearings for you. I have a bell bearing for you. Shock to Ansha, the guy outside Gideon's room? Yeah. He gave me the JoJo's pose. Enter Coliseum combat. Oh, this is where that is. I remember that being a big patch. Hey, where's that lady, though? I defeated Godric. Where's that fucking lady gone? Who's supposed to do spirit tuning? I gotta find her. Do the bell keepers? I do not know who the bell keepers are. Back to Godric's grace. Let's go take a look over Lyernia. She should be by the fireplace. She was not. No idea where she is. She's not by the fire. She's still in the shack. We'll have to go find her at the shack then. I did talk to her already. You ever fought that person inside the round table? Do you mean the um, invader if you jump down to the lower floor? Is that who you're talking about? Yeah, I've got a I've got a really powerful in staff. It looks like, but nowhere near the stats to wield it. Bring her the memento. The memento. What? The memento. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. Disgusting. Don't talk to people that way. Blade of Calling. Faith. Faith. Can we talk to the fingers? The door is not open, so I cannot. Chrysalis Memento, okay. Hayetta's not yet here. I know she is eventually, but I have no idea what causes that. Oh, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be, uh, Irina's quest, isn't it? So I need to find the letter. Irina has to die. Then I can come back and find Hayetta here, maybe? Should we keep doing int so I can use that staff someday? Someday. Someday, someday. To uh, inaccurately quote Matas Yahoo, to adapt Matas Yahoo. So she could put it into a Coca Cola. Put her chrysalids. Oh, get put her mementos into a Coke. Actually, got the ashes to finish Nefeli's quest line if you progress it. Yes, I remember Nefeli's quest line. I did finish that my first time. Purely coincidentally. Not with, like, intelligence, but coincidentally, I finished it. 
Who wants to see what the NPC down here is wearing? There's that sorcerer down here. Let's see if he's got anything crazy on out of coincidence. Does the alabaster sword scale within? I believe it does. Uh, yes. It scales more with strength, but it scales with strength, then int, then dex. You gonna do Ronnie's quest? Maybe. Oh, you look so much sadder without your robes. You look like shit. Golden seed, all right. You're tarnished, aren't you? True. Then perhaps you could spare some runes. Believe it or not. Crystal's my to is hers, so I believe you. I'm just not going to do anything about it right now. For a small donation. I'll go get her in a bit. I'd be happy to share my knowledge. Donate 10 runes. Well, bless you. Bless you. You're welcome. As many runes as you'd like, fellow int character. You're interested. I can teach you sorceries, as promised. Oh, I would love sorceries. I'm all about sorceries. You know, this is an int sword. I also do <laughs> sword series. That's my little joke. It's so good to meet another sorcerer. We're trying to have a really different playthrough from the first time. Might end if you progress too much. I'll go back and give it to her. Great oracular bubble. Ooh. Did I fuck this up? Now we're still fine. Cannon of Hema and Great Glenstone Shard. Okay. Bob's an explosive magic protect on an arc, launches a magic bubble. So what's this guy's name? I need to buy this guy's because he like dies eventually or disappears. I don't know what happens to him, but it doesn't go well. Liurnia. Sork Bops is his name. And he's got Great Glintstone Shard. He's got Cannon of Hema. And he's got Great Oracular Bubble. Cool. We'll pick those up. All I move is you give him the quest item. It's pronounced Tops. Hema, Hema. This, <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. What was that? Just ran away. An elk. There's Tutorial Island over there. Pomegranates. Is that the statue of Radigan? Samantha? Samantha. Samantha. No. Oh, shit. America? Okay. There's, um, who is it? It's, uh, who the fuck talks about it? There's someone. Oh, um, the, uh, turtle at the Church of the Vows. I forget his name right now. It starts with an M. They say something about, like, there being something hidden under the statue of Radigan, and for the rest of the game, I was like, is this Radigan statue? Is this Radigan statue? But none of them look fancy enough. I was wondering if I was only just now realizing that that's Radigan statue, where you start the game. Never mind me. I thought I'd connected something cool, but I didn't. <laughs> so the starting boss is right. Right. I connected nothing. Muriel, yes. Muriel. This goes all the way down to the bottom, right? I want to check up top first, I think. There's an item back in here. This is where you usually meet the skeletons you've got to kill once they're already on the ground for the first time. We've already had plenty of them, and here we're gonna have different things, like you. There should be someone to my right, shouldn't there be? Dude. I couldn't roll in time the time? You can block gravity? Does NASA know? Who is your starting boss? Mar Fia's missed. Margit was, oh, my starting boss. My starting boss was, um, 
Oh, it was one of those uh, fucking... Uh, holy shit, we're at, according to my thing, we're at 1,001 total views for this stream. Thank you all so much, Samantha. It's overwhelming. I appreciate that. Uh, my, my first boss was a... Uh, what was it called? A snail that summoned a crucible knight ghost thing that beat the shit out of me. You have to play offline when playing randomizer. There are definitely people who have found ways to play like randomizer co-op and stuff. I don't know if it uses the game's normal online or if they have some other way to connect. Because after installing the randomizer, when I started the game, it went mm, inappropriate activity detected, starting an offline mode. So I am offline right now. But there's definitely a way to play at least co-op. I'm not sure about full online. Because I've watched people do it. They use seamless co-op mod? Okay, but does that... You don't need to be online for that? You don't care at all about this? Is your trigger just the item here under the tree? Nope, you care. You care a little bit. How do you feel about gravity? Gravity, gravity. Shit, dude, come on. That was an interesting way to roll. Why'd that happen? Gravity, gravity. That works. It's online for like friends or something. That's what I mean. You're not online. You can't get invaders. You can't. Great shield soldiers ashes. See messages on the ground, can you? But it helps you connect to your friends. So you are not online. It replaces the games online. That's my guess. But I've not tried it. Anyway, I can't be online. I don't have it set up that way. Okay, yes, you uh, got, thank you. You won't connect to From servers, but you're obviously using the internet to play with your friend. Got it, got it. Good spirit. Where's there a map around here? It'd be good to have a map to start working from. The barbarian sorcerer, the molding sky, rides into Leonia. Big old red bat in there. Oh, hey, that's a worm face. Whew, there's some items in there I'd like, though. But I don't like worm faces. We'll try to work this out. We'll try real hard. You should go first. Because you're just really annoying, but also not terribly strong. Oh great, a bat that takes more than one hit. And oh great, someone gravity attacking me. Oh great, a bat I can't hit. Let's go gravity strike everyone here. That guy's gonna feel real bad about his misses. Nee shit! I don't know what to do about you. I'm not a pinata. Don't whack me with that. Fucking dickhead. Can I just get the items and get out of here? Shit. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just noticed how... Sacred Order. That's super cool. I just noticed how high my death blight is. Are there any more items in here? Please no! <laughs> Holy shit, there are more items, fuck! Fuck me, man! In New York City, seamless co-op is another name for dear group dinner orders. 10 out of 10. Gravity then, he has so much health, he does. That he does. 
Oh, that's just your tail. I thought there was a golden glow near you. You eagle. Four heals. Let's top off with one. And go see if I can find my way just to the items. Probably not to kill him. Shared order is just better sacred order, I think. Redeemer, I appreciate all the advice. I'm not going to remember any of this. You can save your typing. I need to worry about not dying to death blight in the moment, and later we usually take pauses where I can actually look at my gear, and at that point I need help deciding which ashes are useful and so on. Save it for then, it will help me a lot more. Alright, I think I got everything out of there. I think there's a cave down here. I think there's a lot down there. Let's go talk to the merchant first, though, because I'm not sure he's marked on my map, unless I talk to him. Also, I'm just curious what he has. So let's go talk to that guy. You're new around here. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but... Don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? No worries. Receive bell bearing, first of all. Purchase, okay. Kukri, lantern, gravel stone, a golden seed, a ritual pot, arrow, ash of war, spectral lance, glintstone stars, glintstone craftsman's cookbook, or death root, flaming bolt, deathbed dress, and nomadic merchant's trousers. Nothing incredibly exciting here, I don't think. I don't know if this is good. Maybe it is. Nothing too exciting here, but Golden Seed, another sorcery, Death Root, a Craftsman's Cookbook. These are all decent. 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 Gonna bet he has a great rune. Damn. Where's this grace even pointing? Oh, hello, guy. I probably have to jump down to get to you, don't I? Maybe not. Hang on. Come on now. I need a little space for you to start your sprint. Torrent. Good shit. Good shit, Torrent. Now turn into mist. Arsenal charm plus one. What does that do? Greatly raises maximum equip load. Yes! I love it. It goes up by 14.2. No, sorry. It goes up by 8.2. I'd say 14. It goes up by 8.2. Does Garank give you random items when you give him death root? I don't know because I haven't been out to Garank. I would guess he does, but I really don't know. More carry weight? Redeemer, I can read. It's in the game. You can relax, dude. The game will tell me some of these things. Let's go get that map. Guarded by these enemies. Oh, I bet I've never even heard of gravity. They aren't ready for gravity. Easy game. Good shit. And then turn that off. Okay, now I gotta remember what's in Lyernia and am I still in combat? Because it won't let me open my map. Fighting flat earthers. <laughs> Sometimes I do get curious. I'm like, how do flat earthers explain this? But I always resist looking it up. Because while it's nice to satisfy my curiosity, I don't even want to. I don't, I don't want to see. I, it's not just going to be what the explanation I'm looking for. It's going to be a whole bunch of other bullshit. It's going to be the entirety of their bullshit. I don't. I just don't want to start on that, you know? So to this day, I don't know. And that's fine. Okay, what goes on in Lyernia? There's this place for after you... It's, Ronnie's quest leads you here, I think? Someone has to give you the item to flip this over. I think it's Ronnie usually. I might have that wrong, but it could be anyone. Could be anyone this time around. 
You don't want to know? The sky is a hologram crushed by a magic moon. <laughs> uh, somewhere along here, I think it might be this is the Church of the Vow. This is another elevator. This is the elevator to Altus, right? Maybe we should just go get the other map. Because I think I know where to. I think I know where to get the other map. I also remember where the glintstone key usually is, but we're going to have to hunt for it. Unless, did I already get a glintstone key? It kind of rings a bell. There's never jail, Samantha. There's never jail. If it doesn't have a stone sword key lock, we can check who's in there. Um, did I already get a glintstone key? Not that. I gotta show you. There's the button. We already have it. Nice. What do you mean explaining? They'll believe what I tell them to? How many uh, runes am I holding? Okay. However, they're not really risked when you're going to an ever jail. Be it Godfroy, we've already had Godefroy. Godefroy was where Darawell should have been in Limgrave. So actually, that was great because Blythe helped me and Blythe beat the shit out of him. Blythe does so, so much stance damage. Oh, can't summon. Darawell. Oh, here's Dar Speaking of Darawell. Let's stop speaking of Darawell. <sighs> I don't feel like doing that fight right now. Southwest Liurnia Everjail is Darawell. Whenever I'm looking for him. Bill from accounting. Heard you were talking shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just kicked over a bottle of wine. Forgot that was there. Forgot what a winner I am at trivia. Let's go get those runes real quick. He's actually competent? Yeah, that... that My damage was very good. But I'm using a slow weapon and he deals a fuck ton of damage to me. I need more health and maybe a light weapon to use for that fight. But I certainly need some more health. That's a bit rough. Just beat Rykard, what's your goal now? Hey, I just beat Rykard. I beat Rykard today. What's up? But G fucking G. Congrats, that's fantastic. Pleased for you. Is there anything back here? Why am I up here? My goal right now is just to go get the other map for, I think there's only two for Liurnia. If I'm wrong, maybe we'll stop at two maps. But yeah, my goal is to go get the other map Are you actually manning this thing? You look like you could. I was hoping it would be an enemy that definitely couldn't man a gun. A gun, you know, a, a ballista. Cannon, whatever it is. Prelate's charge. I need to call Blythe again. He's fast and strong, the usual guy's a pushover. Try hurting him emotionally. What were you fighting with, Feudark? Oh, that Feudark's their name. I, I, for a second, I was trying to remember. Is there a weapon called Feudark? My bad. There's three maps. Ah, great. Let's see if I can find the second. I think actually it might be on the east side. How do they reveal area of the map as you run around? Very slowly. Very slowly. I f one of them's like over here or something. Don't know where the third's gonna be. Probably in the, like, drowned village. Yeah, maybe finding the map isn't the most efficient next thing to look for. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't want to sound like an idiot. And, it, but I need to ask a question about the most prominent and important symbol of this entire game, visible from almost everywhere on the map. Is the air tree always transparent? At least at this distance? When did that happen? Is that about my graphics settings? Did I notice that my first playthrough and forgot by now? Why is it transparent? You think so? What? Why? I can look right through it! The fuck? There's a guide to a catacombs over there. There's Rhea Lucaria, which is beautiful. There's a statue over there. What is that? Because lore theories? Definitely not. It's like a ghost. Maybe it's just a time of day thing, because I don't remember that either. While having actual roots? No. We seem to have some disagreement about whether or not it's transparent, but most people seem to think it is usually transparent. Hello. Who said? Please. Over here. Hi. I don't remember this person. Hello. You need to work on your posture. Are you, uh, Liana? Lina? Li la, li la, the, I've only ever seen her dead before if I know who this is. Oh, it's Raya. Never mind, I don't know who this is. Hello. It's rather chilly here, isn't it? My mistress sent me off on an errand, but I was accosted by a ruffian. And now I'm in a bind. Could I ask you lend a hand? Perhaps. Absolutely. That thug made off with a precious necklace. I need someone to retrieve it. We are in luck. Only he too is tarnished. If you've any qualms confronting your own, I shall find another. Uh, hear her request. I'm pretty sure we already have the necklace because randomizer. Oh, thank you dearly. What a blessing that we've met like this. The thug should be resting at an abandoned home down the way. Please, I must have the necklace back. Would that be the, um, love the prawn boiling guy or whatever? The thug should be resting. I never figured out what to do with him before. Down the way. I never did anything Please. with him. I must have the. Guess I won't have to this time either. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? Good shit. I am Raya. Prawn guy. In service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Brave Tarnished, seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most Tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary Tarnished. Let's see if we can see Prawn Guy's face, though. Yeah, let's do that. The volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. Only for me. The land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. Nice. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Do they not keep Instead, up with service? You must seek the old ruins in the cliff. That doesn't At sound the safe. Of the valley, near the Are there no building lift, regulations in the lands tunnel. between? This is, hang on, life is dangerous lands, enough without Lernia poorly cared for country. elevators in this I world. A champion through Sorry, she's been saying things, and I've been telling the worst, worst bit 
about broken elevators, and then I talked over the end of it. Okay. Seek the at the base of the valley. It was excavated from both ends. I have faith in you. I do hope that we. Can you actually get up to Lear uh, to Altus Plateau from a tunnel? Um, which way is the prawn guy? Hello there. I forgot these things existed. Show me what you're gonna show me. Have you seen Pharaoh Missoula? Osha had a falling out after the shattering. They fell out of the world and all died. They even added crumbling to its name. Okay, that's where I am right now. Where's Prawn Shackman? That's his name now. Prawn Shackman. Where's Prawn Shackman? I think he just has like a wooden shack. And I'm not seeing it. Isn't he somewhere over in that direction? Or am I crazy? Yeah, I got no clue where he is. None of this looks very likely to me. No clue. Prawn Shackman sounds like a lawyer. Faramazula is pretty though, just got there this morning. You can use the map, it's just a bit left diagonally. So up in this area? Northwest. Or is it off in northeast? This is sort of the main path through the center of Liernia, isn't it? Saul Goodman shaking in his boots right now. Pron Shackman is a Death Stranding 2 character. <laughs> northwest, oh. Oh, wait, I'm going northwest. Good for me. There's the shack. Let's see if this guy has a face. Ooh. 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 Ooh, it's Prawn Shackman. He's handsome. Wow. Oh my god, I don't know if I can fight him now. Good character gives a good item. Yeah, it, pomegranates, will it screw anything up to kill him? Is there some interesting quest if you leave him alive? alive? I never did anything with him in my first playthrough. I didn't, I didn't kill him, I didn't get anything from him, I didn't figure out anything. He just didn't like me, and that's how we handle each other. Should I kill him, or is there a reason not to? Reach out and touch Grace. Yes, wait, yes to which bad pixie? Yes, it's okay to kill him, or yes, he's important to a quest. He's connected to the Dung Eater. Oh, I guess we'll leave him alive. I don't know what quest I want to do. I guess we'll leave him alive. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? I can tell him to give me the necklace when I know he doesn't have it. He sells Raya's necklace, so he might have something important. One of the maps is over near EG, right? Right. He'd have what the necklace is randomized, though. And you're saying I could buy it from him. Interesting. Let's leave all these gazebos for now. I won't remember which I've done and which I haven't done. I'm not sure they have important items. Like, I'm not... I mean, they might have really nice items. I don't know if they have important items. Because I don't know if they're counted as important item locations. So we'll leave... What am I seeing over there? Oh boy. Oh boy. Where... Is that where the glintstone key usually is? No, that's just somewhere. Oh boy. Is that even a boss? Is that a normal enemy? Oh, you know what? I don't have to find out. Let's leave. You got marked. Let's go get a map from you. Should probably ask. All right, we'll go back to him in a second. Let me grab this map and then we'll go back down to him. Is 
Smith, what's your favorite zone in this game? I think I like Altus Plateau the most, but there's something weird and magical about this just massive ankle-deep lake. I thought it was honestly really stupid the first time I played for a while just because the whole it's this big and it's just ankle deep. But I kind of like the aesthetic now. Sifra? Sifra's fucking gorgeous. Sifra might have been what I should have said. Sifra's a good choice. Nokron? Nice. Okay, map. Map, map, map. Thank you. Thank you. Finger Reader Crone. Oil Prawn Shack and Blackguard. Let's go talk to the Blackguard. Nicholas Halig Tree. Nicholas Halig Tree is really cool. I like I like being out on the branches. I dislike being inside. It doesn't feel as interesting there. It's not bad, but what I like being out on the you? branches. You're trying to start us on it. Piss off before I crack you in half. Gameplay-wise, it's Limgrave, but there are so many good aesthetics. Give me the necklace. Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Deal. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes, and don't try nothing, neither. Purchase. <laughs> All right, good dealing with you. <laughs> mm. All right, take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Wow. No bloody idea, mate. Don't go crying to me later. Wait, you like Limgrave specifically because so much is visible off in the distance? Interesting. Oh, he sells pot. Found you from your Elden Ring shorts. You've been watching my Bloodborne playthrough. Love your content. You're hilarious. Thank you so much for saying that. I'm glad you enjoy. Oh, piss Thank off. you so much. What is it now? Oh, I see. You want some of me prawn? Freshly cooked it is. All right, then. It's yours. If you can meet me price. I like how he talks such a big game, like, let's see how much it's worth to you and hand over the runes first, no funny business, and then charge me like 200. How much to the fucking... <laughs> Is this what you're eating? You shouldn't be eating these. Who sells prawn then? I don't even know what prawn does. Anyway. Oh, so you met the girl, did you? All right, well, sod the particulars of the matter, but it ain't my fault she's stupid enough to get duped, is it? Anyway, she ain't all right, that one. Lucky she ain't died on the bloody roadside, I reckon. I thought she would later when I first met her. I thought she was um, Dialis's, uh, you know, servant woman. Think Prawn led the Imperial Remnant. Earn my sub from your Elden Ring shorts. Love the content. Keep the good work. I will do my best. Thank you so much for subscribing and for saying that. I appreciate that. Glad you enjoy. Talk to him one more time. All right. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. Okay. I've never found Dialis' friend. I found her dead once with Dialis standing over her. It's here in Lyurnia somewhere. I believe it's around here. I think it's somewhere in the southern half, but I'm not really sure anymore. Grand Admiral Prawn, oh, I get you. Hmm. Hmm. That's two maps. Do I need the third? Do I care about the third? It would be quite a ride to get over there. Maybe I don't care about bothering to ride over and get the third right now. Maybe I don't care about that. What do I care about? How many gazebos are there south of Rhea Lucaria? Ooh, there's one, two, three, 
four or five at least. And they're rather spread out. So maybe that's annoying to visit. Try to slide what I want to do. I want to do just a little something. Oh, and I'm yawning, so maybe it's not the best idea to do a little something. Fuck it, let's go check out this church. Let's check out this church. And then, Samantha, we're going to wind down after that. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Let me tell you the schedule one more time. I should have a normal schedule on Twitch this week, which means I'm planning on streaming tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Tomorrow and probably Tuesday as well is going to be Wo Long because I started that Friday and I'm quite enjoying. That's the new Souls-like game made by Team Ninja, who made Neo and Neo 2. And it's based on Romance of the Three Kingdoms lore. It's been pretty fucking fun at the start. Um, I also will probably play some Metroid Prime and maybe some Darkest Dungeon between those four days. Doing my first playthrough of all three of those games. And I do expect to be free next weekend to do this stream at the same time next Sunday. 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, right here. What's this? Somber Smithing Stone. Okay, am I way off the path yet? Where's the hill with a church on it? Ah, I am too far south. You go northeast a little bit. What was the first game? The first game is... Oh, it's you. Wolong Fallen Dynasty. It just came out last Friday. Did you hear me? This kind of sucks. Carrying 7,000 runes. This kind of sucks. This really sucks. Golden rune. Why are you at half health? Why is he at half health? Shit. Shit. How did you live? Teach me your ways. You too, slime. Lambs came a long way from Pharaoh Missoula. Maybe he was thirsty. Fuck me, dude. That's pretty awful. That's pretty awful. Oh, come on. I just spawned. Where are my runes? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Leaving. Got him. Video right above this one on my YouTube homepage is Is Wolong really unplayable? So boy, I'm curious now. I've heard a lot of people have problems with the PC port. I had to turn off ambient occlusion to stop this graphical flickering I was getting, but otherwise mine's running okay. I would expect it to run a bit better on my machine, but it's running very playably. But yeah, a lot of people are having problems with it on PC, I know. I haven't looked up console, but I would hope it runs okay on consoles. You got staked and he saw you immediately. All right, am I far enough away from all of them now? I am, thank you. Let's just go hang out at Boiled Prawn Shack. And wrap up there. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Very, very kind of you. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for the super chat earlier. And thank you just all for your time. Uh, I hope I see you sometime during this week on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm the same screen name. So it's twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. And uh, if I don't catch you there, I hope I see you here. And if I don't see you in either place, just thank you still. I appreciate it. Take care. Be safe, happy, healthy. Uh, indulge and eat an entire box of cookies now and then. You know, it's worth experiencing little extremes like that regularly. Um, and that's the literally the only that's the advice I give at the end of every single stream is to to be safe and healthy, but also indulge. And it really is core to the way I view life. But I think most people know that. So I got to find something better to say. Hey, go get a BMX and just get into the X Games. Just like I know they won't take you immediately unless any of you happen to be BMX experts. But sneak the fuck in and go down the biggest ramp they've got. All right. But put a helmet on. Maybe we go the other way and I talk only about extremes, but then I pull it back just a little bit. Right? <laughs> Have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Have a good one, Samantha. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye.